Yo, it's your boy Elvis Texley, aka Ham Slamwich, and Kid Gentle Kyle. This is Egomaniac Episode 2, where it's all about you. All right, now we got a weekly segment. You talked, we listened. Five questions for Kyle. Permanent segment. I know that you're all about this. Yeah, I'm very excited. Five questions for John got cut. Right, my questions weren't good enough. Yours were boring. His were hard. Mine were hard hitting. All right, so let's let's do do a warm up question. Okay. What for me? Right. Yeah. All right. What's your favorite color? It's a good question. Um, Let's not try to make this like a long-winded deal. I, I'd say right now that it's purple. All right. All right. How sexy is God? Like, what, is, what, is he, what does he or she look like that makes him so sexy? Hmm. Boom, boom, boom. It's the SWAT team. At my door? What did you do? That's the question? Yeah, yeah. Um, boom, boom, boom. It's the SWAT team. <laughs> what did you do? Fuck one, marry one, kill one. Out of anybody? Yeah. Your neighbors are world famous musicians. What's that pressure like? <laughs> and are you too cool? Um, so my neighbors are in a band here in Austin called Madison's. What's that Um, pressure like? There's no pressure on me, really. And are you too cool? That's just, he didn't answer the question. Okay. I'm a male model. I'm a, I'm a male model. What's, what are you going to tell me? What are you going to tell me? What are you? What are you going to tell me? Five questions for Kyle. All right. I I get so tired. Do you? I get so tired. I recently found this new energy drink. Monster energy drink? Yeah, I've heard of that. I've tried that. It tastes great, and it has zero. It, it has zero sugar. Wow. <laughs> Feed the beast. Feed the beast. All right, the ne- watch out, man. We got laser on the mixer again today. Say what up, laser. What's up, everybody? Hey, laser. Hey. hey. Thanks for working for free. Yeah. Well, how was your week, man? Um, my week was. People, people don't know, man. You work at a rehab. I do, yeah. I work at Austin Recovery. You drug and alcohol rehab here. Get in Austin. to tell people what to do at their very lowest point in life. That's not the way I would describe my job. But it is what you do. Okay. How was your week, John? I don't paid for. Uh, it was good. What did I do today or this week? I worked on a couple commissions. South by Southwest is coming up. Which is a busy time for artists, and I've got a big project for that for a mobile app, a tech app, painting Migos. 
The rappers? Yeah, Offset. What's the tech app? Offset, and I don't know the other two. I don't know if I can't say that. Can we? I don't know. Can we? No, I don't think so. You said Migos. Yeah, but that's Migos. That's that's. Do we have to pay Migos? Blazer. It's the tech app. Okay. Huh? That's not the tech. That's not the name of the tech app. Migos, Migos came out with the tech I'm app. Telling Kyle that that's what. No, 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 I know. Yeah, that's what I'm painting. But the tech app, you don't. Let's just say they're huge, bigger than anything you could. Migos in your life. Migos. Migos is what I'm painting. And they're huge. The app, me. which is like a thing. It's like the buttons that you hit on your phone. Yeah. Migos it's, is Takeoff, Offset, and Quavo. Dipset, Quavo, and Takeoff. Which one are you painting? The three of them. And they got these like funky glasses on. They were very hip. What's they were their cool. app? They're it's bigger than you could ever be, like, what you're about. It's like they're making their you, own Spotify. Your world is bossing <laughs> people around at their lowest point. And so they're doing, like, what Jay-Z did with um, Tidal. Migos. So that was my week, uh, getting that commission. I haven't started working on it. I did a, I did a couple... Cartoon elephants that Laser wanted to hang up in the background on set, even though I told her it's a commission, it's got to go to client. She threw a big fit about that, so that <laughs> took a while to calm her down. So here we are, eight five hours later. But you know she'll be all right because she's. I'll dry my tears eventually. Yeah, eventually. Hmm. That was it, man. That was it. I worked on uh, worked on some shit. Help my little people that I talk to, my little Yeah. My little fucking <laughs> <laughs> you, know? you help you help little people? My little you know, they got drinking problems and huh. kinda talk to them about that and like walk them through that, like how to not do that as much. We got a um exciting guest on today. Jack Garrett Parker, baby. That's I I think that's like maybe his full Facebook name. I don't know if that's what he. Speaking, I, I know him as Jack. Speaking I've never of, called him Garrett in my life. So speaking of Jack Garrett Parker, before we get into the news, um, I'm going to do my little segment that you love so much about. You didn't uh, run this by, okay? Yeah, it's not a new segment. It's just something where I tell Man, people no plot twist. All right, what something Let's just means. Stay on topic. This is on topic. Well, I didn't know anything about this. I didn't know this is. This is what you have written down as Manji. This is what you have written down as Kyle's dumbass fact. Yeah, that's right. Because this is stupid. <laughs> okay, so um, Did, does everybody remember what it was last week? Laser, do you remember what his fact was last week? It was beating around the bush. Yeah. yeah. Do you remember what it was? What it meant? It was about hunters. Right. They would beat bushes. around the bush, and then that was hard to find. Uh, uh, the the edit insert. The yeah. the insert photo for it beat around the bush. There was a bunch of like white trash like pictures, like fucking dumb <laughs> saying like quit beating around yeah, the bush like, with like Yeah, like a picture uh, of a fucking like Vin scar Diesel. Face or, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Something real irrelevant like that. People that beat around the bush can like a, yeah, like a gorilla picking his forever. nose yeah. or yeah. something. Right. Never underestimate someone who beats around <laughs> yeah. the bush. Never <laughs> underestimate Some a queen like that. fan that doesn't ever beat around the bush. <laughs> Well, what um, is it this week, man? This week it is uh, jack of all trades, and I know that that's. Oh, a, I like that. I know that that's of a, our guest, right? And I know that that's a simple one that uh, you typically would know what that means. But do you know that that's only the beginning of the phrase? Jack of all trades, master of none. Correct. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Everybody and so they knows that, though, right? But it's but nobody uses that. People use jack of all trades as a positive compliment, but it's. The entire phrase is a negative thing. It's saying you're just doing everything and not doing anything yeah, well. Not doing yeah. anything well. Right, but when you say someone's a jack of all trades, you're typically. But I don't them say that. I, I I know what it means. Yeah, I know it's an insult to their character when you say jack of all trades. Yeah, like. And you so you think that everybody yeah, knows jack that jack of all trades over here. Okay, I guess I didn't know that. So that's. Jack of all trades of Googling. That doesn't work. That's you. Lots of browsers open. 
Yeah. Nothing really being accomplished. Nothing substantial. Um, That's good, though. That's all right. Yeah. Around the bush. So, Jack, uh, our guest today is the positive part of Jack of all trades. Master of Master some of things, anyway. A few things, yeah. Um, okay, we got we got some in the news, news articles. Yeah, did articles. you fire those off? Yeah, in our chat oh. on Facebook Messenger. All right, all right. Well, the first thing I wanted to talk about was big news of the week: the second HIV patient to be cured. I read about this. This is very cool. Do you want to tell us a little more about it? Yeah, there was one person who was cured about 10 years ago, I believe, and they they didn't really know how they did it. So this time... All right, time well, let me, let's get into it and let's see what the, what the F is up with this guy. Cool, yeah, so 10 years ago to the day since the first confirmed case of an HIV-infected person being rid of the deadly disease, a man known only as the London patient okay. has shown no sign of the virus for nearly 19 months. But... Okay, so I did read this, and they're saying, yeah, he is technically cured. Okay. Like, he's been in remission for a long enough period that he's gotten off all the AIDS medication. And is that just based on the amount of, like, white blood set, blood, white blood set I don't count? Know, I don't what? know what the determining factor for that is, but he he's off the... Uh, uh, his viral load is nothing. He's off the medications right. that would normally keep it that low. Yeah. He's been in remission from it forever. Um, the first one was the Berlin patient, which was the same thing. Okay. But these two gentlemen had this very uh, nuanced problem going on in conjunction to being HIV positive, And I think it's like non-Hodgkin's lymphoma or something. But there's a, a specific medicine that you get to treat, yeah, Hodgkin's lymphoma, to, to treat that cancer. Mm-hmm. And that medicine, in combination, it's like an experimental medicine that they give to people with it. In combination with the regular it, HIV medicine they're taking? Well, just having AIDS, period. Okay. And it's like experimental lymphoma medication and then like some fucking combo cosmos bullshit that's what causes this. So they said it can't really be duplicated, duplicated unless you have these factors going on. Okay. And they could, but they said it's riskier to take these like Hodgkin's lymphoma medicines because it destroys your bone marrow, right? Okay. So these guys just happen to be taking those medicines as well. Yeah, they're getting their bone marrow fucked up anyways because they have to take the medicine. Right. You know what I mean? But for somebody without lymphoma but just has there's AIDS. gonna be lots of negative Yeah, they're side like effects. now they got that now they got AIDS and fucked up lymphoma or bone yeah. marrow. Well they're HIV free with fucked up bone marrow. Maybe. Maybe. They don't yeah. they haven't tried that. So Well very good for this second yeah, guy. Yeah, pretty cool. Berlin. Pretty cool for that guy. The London patient, yeah. Okay. Laser, what's the title of this other one? <laughs> A bodega cat. Um, this New York bodega cat, if you don't know what that is, it's like cats that hang out in convenience stores, basically. It's a breed? It, no. <laughs> All right. What is this? A beloved Bronx bodega cat has returned to its owners. Uh, a kid stole him, and then he got a stranger to return the cat because he felt bad. And then the store owner decided that he needed to call the cops and have the kid arrested. Who was, who, I believe, 11 years old. 10 years old. Who stole the cat? Yeah. Actually, it doesn't say the age of the kid that stole the cat, but he had that kid taken to jail, um, even though he returned the cat two days later. And the reason is because he has an autistic son that is very attached to the bodega cat, and he had a hard well, time explaining there you go. to him. So now yeah, the autistic boom, boom. son has his cat back. So it's an upper and a downer. What's well, the downer? That he went to jail? That the kid went to jail? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. I guess. Okay, next one is, and we'll read through this one. We got Michelle Carter texting suicide case heard by uh, Massachusetts High Court. Now, this is fucked up. Did you hear about this chick? Yeah, I heard about it a while back when she was first arrested, yeah. 
Yeah. So this is like real deal shit. They're having to uh, determine right. if this is a crime. Yeah. Essentially, we actually I heard about this while me and uh, my buddy Taylor were often doing this to each other, <laughs> jokingly, uh-huh. until we read this, and then it became kind of uh, not as funny. But she she kind of this kid was on the edge, right? And his girlfriend. Which, fine taste in women, I guess. Right. Is pushing him. Yeah. This is a kid that was on the edge of suicide. Along, saying, do it. And was it his girlfriend at the time, or did they had they broken up? Or were they, yeah, it was they his were lady. It was his girlfriend. Okay, yeah. And she was like, she sent him so many texts. Like, he would say he was going to do it. I remember reading like, some of the texts. To it. And at yeah. one point, he turned on the carbon monoxide in his car, which is And she was like, when are you going to do it himself? already? Yeah, yeah, he, like, got out of the car. All right. Like, so, there, so she's now in... Court is what you're saying. Uh, she yeah, got so convicted she's convicted for manslaughter in June of 2000. Oh, okay, she was okay. convicted. Yeah. So okay. yeah, there you go. There you go. And she should be. Look, here's a little picture of her like crying with her dad or lawyer or somebody. Right. Doesn't really fucking matter. They're not gonna be around. Rotten piece, chick. Yeah. Sociopath. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Or like, I don't even know. Like, what? It, what? What do you think that that is? Because a sociopath is like that. She's getting high off of that shit. Yeah, it is. I mean, it feels like the same whatever it takes to be a murderer. Left know? unchecked, right? Like, what? what's next? So, so the boyfriend fucking, he bites the bullet, and then she's like, okay, well, the high from that. Who next? Like, yeah, right. Then does then is it. I guess I'll date another fucking dude down in the tub. And then if he so doesn't fucking, do it, I'll kill him, I guess, you know, is probably what would be next. All right. Look what at you, this. What was it? What do you think it takes... You know about Momo? Uh, yeah, I don't know. You were you and uh, Taylor that you had aforementioned right. were kind of like talking about it, but I don't. I looked at a photo of this. So uh, it's basically some sculpture that somebody made. Right, and, that's all I saw. Right, and then uh, apparently there was a WhatsApp. There became a WhatsApp phone number attached to it, and then how's that? Somebody owned the sculpture. And had a WhatsApp phone number for and for Momo okay. for the sculpture, just kind of like a fucking guerrilla market. And then somehow, deal. yeah, I don't know how it became got big or whatever, but uh, they started like you would text teens would text this Momo thing, and Momo would play a game with the teens or whatever age, whoever would text the number, they would play a game with you, and then eventually the final step would be like to either harm yourself or kill yourself. In some way, and so my point in bringing this up was I had no idea. <laughs> yeah, that's what I that, didn't see that story through. That's what yeah, I was right. just like, shut up. Yeah, I don't yeah. care. It's a sculpture, right? I didn't know it had such like insidious undertones. Yeah, so it would be. I I don't think I think there might have been one. I could be wrong, but I think there was one girl that did either harm herself or kill herself in Brazil. Um, Whoops. Yeah, and then since, but anyways, point bringing that up was. What kind of sociopath does it take to do that and not even to just put it out there and not even know what the outcome is going to be about whether or not someone, you know what I mean? She's fucking boarding, man. Too many telephone screens and shit. And yeah. The kids are getting all fucked up in the head. Like this type of kid, right? Yeah. Put them back in the Wild West. Put them back in like 1801. And what happens? What type of kid is that back then? He's still... The What? Something. Something. So you think only screen time made him that wanna want people to off themselves? On I think I think we're like piled on top or of each other, account? neon lights everywhere and shit's just all fucked up. The a kid like that back in the day would have come out in the wash, man. Just would have fucking washed out. Yeah. His parents his dad probably would have beat the tar out of him and, and fucking Maybe. Some the townspeople would have probably fucking caught wind of that real quick and been like, you know, fucking Billy, we gotta Billy's take your making fucking his kid sculpture out, talk man. to our kids, yeah. Yeah. You're all out. Right. You're off the fucking that's what they say. They gotta ride him out on a rail. You ever heard that? You should do that next week. I haven't. We'll ride him out on the rail. Week. Means carry him out of out of town on a fucking log or something. What's this next one? The last one is another cute one, which obviously John hates. But it's Yeah, about John doesn't a like grandma. anything cute. You know that? It's true. That's a fact about <laughs> like you. Some cute you don't stuff. like anything cute. Well, 
It's so, about a grandma who was posing on an iceberg, and then the iceberg broke off, and she floated out to sea. Is she alive? Yes. Okay. Does Ash... Does is, that what def- struck- is that what defines it? Why do they call her... Like... It's just interesting that it's grandma gets swept out. <laughs> I, know. I know. Like, I is know. that that's who like, she it is? Implies yeah. she has like grandma. some large extended family. Like, I right. clearly too. she's not fucking. Like it, she's so right. old, she doesn't get a name anymore. No, just grandma. Like, <laughs> yeah, like grandma got so, swept out by a like. Clearly, iceberg. there's like a silver alert out somewhere for. No, she she's got fucking, saved. Maybe that's what. Okay, All right, so, so grandma, grandmother Judas was subsequently rescued by a passenger called Randy LeCount who just so happened to be a boat captain visiting from Florida. Despite the potentially dangerous nature of what happened, Judas sees the funny side. <laughs> Rock and roll, dude. That's oh, why, that's why the, mold, the mold Judy? people in old folks' homes, man, that's why they're all, like, fucking each other and shit. Because why? Because they just, like, it's a rodeo when you get old, man. Right, it's yeah, all fucking... I read fucking another up. article about two elderly people that broke out of a senior living home to go see a metal show. I heard yeah, about that. I saw that. Bored. They're just, like, they're, like, it's done. I think that just got, like, was that new? Yeah. I thought it was one of those that just keeps getting circulated by, oh, like, every, by every metal uh, website or whatever. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Well... That's what it's like to be old. Or every Viagra. You fucking, you, you do whatever the fuck you want. And if you want to go float out climb on iceberg. your old ass on an iceberg, and I, I guess she just picked the right, she was like, this one looks fucked off, like it's about yeah. to, like it in any second, drift off to sea. I'm going to pick that one. Right. I guess she went viral on Twitter, too, so. So I guess That's the balance is her. you just have to go by grandma. You have to go by wherever you fit in the family tree. Right, because if she wasn't, like, it's not cute. If, if she wasn't grandma. Like, if it was just like, That's was like true. old fucking crazy lady gets on an iceberg, and then, like, then the city's coming after her. Yeah. You know, she's got people... It's like, oh, grandma's. That's like, true. Oh, that's grandma's somebody's. Zany. And it re- makes you relate. But if oh, it's that's just like, somebody's if it's not a grandma, grandma, it's just like a cat lady. Right. And then they're like, leave her. Would you think. Let her you, fucking drift away. Yeah. Bye, lady. Mm-hmm. Thanks for. What not would you think if this progeny? was your grandma? Or would your grandma not pose on Man, I'd be real worried, dude. Yeah. I mean, after the fact. I would find I would, out about all this. I would look to fact. blame somebody. My grandma gets shuffled in between my grandma and my aunt right now. Yeah. So some shit. Your mom and your aunt? What is it? You said your grandma. Your grandma. Yeah, my mom, shuffled. my okay. mom, and my aunt. Like the, my grandma gets shuffled in between the two because yeah. she's fucking old. You know right. what I mean? Yeah. If she got out and did some shit like that, this <laughs> heads are gonna roll. She'd have to get really far too to do it. Well, from say here, from say Central it's Texas. not. Say it's like the the Texas equivalent. Say she fucking hitchhikes with a truck driver or something. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, I don't know if that's quite the equivalent. Well, like a metal iceberg. <laughs> Piloted by somebody on meth. Yeah. You know? It's like, how did this happen? That's why they have silver alerts. You think they got them out here and fucking what city is she Who was taking in? the photo? She's actually from Texas, but she's in Iceland. Look at that. Picture. That's why. Was she a model? I don't know what to do with that was shit. She, wait, what? What'd you ask? Who was taking the photo? Her daughter, or her granddaughter. So that's part of the reason why that's like, why grandma, it's grandma. Has, oh, see? she posted on Twitter and she was like, look, look at, at my grandma, second, she got swept out to see you. Look LOL. at the second little photo of her. Are you seeing this? Like here, She's you just far look at it. Right? Just look at it, look at it my, on my iPad we'll, here. This will be on the screen. Look at this fucking, that looks precarious. It does, I wish we could get a, a, a clip of her face in that. That She's too far away. That yeah. looks like it's all fucking grainy and shit. Yeah, they uh, zoomed in quite, to take that picture. Quite of her deadly. Out there. She's so, a, so did they? Did another uh, captain just happen to see her, or he went after her? Um, he was like it's another guy visiting it's that a, area. It's a but different Randy LeCount boat, from. Uh, but I couldn't find that information out because I was curious okay. if he was well, like already in the water or if he was on the shore and wanted to go rescue yeah. her. Randy LeCount. Boat captain visiting from Florida. Okay. So there you go. And where was this? This was in fucking Michigan. Was uh, it Michigan? That's where, yes. That's where Charles Slatton is from. Oh. Charles Slayton. Well, my bad. Michigan icebergs. The fucking <laughs> sirens of the grandmas, or the That's true. They're out eighteen there. They wheel, eighteen wheelers of the sea, as they call them. No, they were definitely in Iceland. All right, do we do these kind of out of order or no? 
Kyle, yeah, I did Kyle's, Kyle's dumbass. I did light, Kyle's dumbass. Light banter also. about the week. We did that. We did some light banter. It was very light. Movie um, review. Oh, oh yeah. Baby. Let's get into this movie review. <laughs> so this was submitted by. Do we know who this was submitted by? Michelle Paulson, right? Was it? Um, Michelle. Shout out Michelle Paulson. Right. Michelle Paulson is the wife of uh, Alan Paulson, who is a man that I tattooed with probably about a decade ago or something. Michelle Paulson. She's a mother of their children, and she's, uh, yeah, that's what she does. And she, she mothers. Okay, thanks, She's, Michelle, for this. I was just going to make sure that is who it was, but you know it was. I'm going to double It is Michelle Paulson. I got it. And this I is, and she requested, uh, yeah, you seemed unsure. And she requested Wrist Cutters, A Love Story. So, uh, Which I'd never heard of in my I had life. never heard of it either. And I, was, some, I thought it was going to be a star power, dude. Yeah, I thought Hydra it might be a Elvis? documentary or, a documentary or something. I know, yeah. He's not Hydra that. Elvis isn't in it, yeah. <laughs> Sean Connery? Not in it. I did so anyways, it, yeah. it was about, uh, what was it about? Oh, man, my little fucking guy. Here, before so, we get into that, I got you one of these. I got you a Funko Pop. You know, I used I used to flip these, right? Yeah, you still do, I thought. Well, yeah, I got to get rid of my last, like, fucking, I got, like, yeah. 50 left, man. S- or 70. I mean, two of them. Two of these bad boys. $600. What do you know about that? I got you, Nothing. Prince Harry, your favorite. Thanks. Um, Prince Harry. There you go, baby. Don't go out and buy these. They are dropping in stock. But I have plenty. <laughs> a lot of them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you want to buy one from John, I have he's got about them. 50 left. Walking Dead, a couple of those characters uh, have died. And uh, I tried to pick the one I wanted, but appreciating he, in value. But I tried to pick the these. one I wanted, but he wouldn't let me have uh, Krampus because that, I think that that still does have some financial value behind it. And Prince Harry doesn't. So, wrist cutters, a love story. Right. We watched. We took the, that recommendation and watched it independently, um, and we have not discussed it yet. Yeah, so. and that's my favorite part, really, about this. Uh, we did. We did a song, song of the week or song fucking yeah, song we did a Bon song Jovi review. yeah song Bon Jovi, and that was all right right My Johnny mom, and the Johnny mom. and the Wieners or something. Did we got feedback on the first episode, which you know, I just gotta say, man, I'm so fucking glad that it's over. The first episode, yeah, yeah. Jesus Christ! But my mom gave feedback, and she was like, I kind of had to pry it out of her, and she was like, it's good. Yeah, it's good. And I didn't say much. She goes, I think the song bit at the end was kind of like you need to. Yeah, it was like 40 minutes. Yeah, I didn't really understand what the, like, <laughs> yeah. like, what is that? Right. So, yeah, she said, she said I was good, though. So, anyways, Wrist Cutter's a love said, story. I um, was all right on the podcast. What did you think of it, John? Did you like it? Just me. Did you enjoy Wrist Cutter's a love story? <laughs> okay, so I got to say. That you know, to the people that suggest these, I don't, you know, I won't even go there. Yeah, it was all right. It, I, I give it a flat. And the question is, when we ask for these, is uh, what is your favorite movie that you think is underrated? And I don't see it being someone's how favorite movie. <laughs> this could be that I, somebody. I would have to agree. I I give. I guess out of a should we should we rate it, made it out? Me feel of, stupid. You should know, we rate like, it out of ten or something? something? Yeah. Out of yeah, 10, yeah, yeah. I would probably give this movie a 5.5. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You would agree? Yeah, it's got yeah. your boy in it, Tom Waits. Tom Waits isn't, I wouldn't call him a boy, but he, it does have Tom Waits in it. It started with a Tom Waits song. Um, it did. Which, which was cool. fucking <laughs> cut my head off. I kind of liked that scene a little bit, um, but that was maybe... What scene? He's like in like a fucking half of the movie. No, no, the very when they first pl- are playing a Tom Waits song and the guy slits his wrist. Can, yeah, he kills scene. himself. Yeah. And I thought that that scene was kind of cool. How thing. he was like, I liked how he was like cleaning up the house before he did it. Um, I thought that was an interesting scene. But then, like yeah, I didn't know from what to 
from there, it was cool that they were in the bar in the next scene and playing uh, Joy Air Div- Hockey. Well, playing Joy Division, which mm-hmm. the lead singer killed himself. The uh, guy, the main guy, he's got a very Jack Parker aesthetic to him. The main guy does, yeah. you think? Yeah, I could see, I could see that. <laughs> he's just a, who would you compare? You gotta go back and look. Who would you compare his little friend to? Who, which one was that it? That we know. The, the, the guy with the clearly fake accent. Oh, that big guy? Or no, 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 no. The, the other that? main guy, the guy that was driving him around in his car. <laughs> oh, that's, uh, that's Shay. Shay, uh... That dude's been in a ton of fucking shit, boy. Has he? Yeah. I'm not familiar with him. But how, what do you um, mean? How would I compare... Who would I compare him to? So the like main, guy, the rock, main yeah. guy's Jag. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is the other guy you? No, he's got like mutton chops and oh, that yeah. thing. Yeah. You know, and he's Austrian, I think. That's true. You know, I lived over there by there. They were... He was supposed Austrian. to be... They were... Uh, he was supposed to be like so the lead singer of... Uh, of the band Golgol, Joy Division. <laughs> he was bullshit. supposed to be like the lead singer of the band Golgo Bardello, In which a is a, a gypsy punk band. They actually they were the ones that were actually when he played his this, tape. The song was, was kind of catchy though. The one that he did, it wasn't. Then they were like, I like it. No, yeah, no, no. that's a a song by Golgo Bar- Bardello, who really? he's loosely based off of. I was reading about it a little after. So yeah, I learned something new. It was a cute movie. It was uh, the the. I don't it know. It was cute. I like the premise. Like the when I read about it, that's why I picked us to watch that movie because it sounded like a really cool idea and I just think that that premise could have been much better of a movie. Could have made for a much better story. Do you? And move. I thought so. Yeah. I liked the premise of it. Like going to these people that killed themselves. The premise was people these people killed themselves and then yeah, all so end up in the it same It was kind of cool in the in the movie like uh, I guess the general theme is like these people killed it if you kill yourself you, you go to fucking purgatory. Yeah. And if you kill yourself again, we don't know. No, they say. Oh, they do. You go to a shittier purgatory. They they assume that. They're not positive. Oh, okay. Well, I think they were he was saying I don't want to kill myself cuz I might end up in an even worse place, but they don't know. They did a good job of making it look whack as fuck where they were at. <laughs> yeah, for sure. You know, it was. All, I think that's part of what I didn't like about it. It was like, so yeah, it's ugly. Like, uh, and just, yeah, I want to play just Red more, Dead Redemption. Right, just more like you were thinking that, huh? I wasn't thinking that. I've never played that game. Madden only. Madden only. Um, you're probably bad at it. So that's it for uh, the movie review. Thanks again, Michelle, for the suggestion. Five questions for Kyle. And we give it a 5.5 5 out 5. of 5. 10 stars. Out of, <laughs> collectively, you out get... Out of 11 stars out of 20 stars. Collectively, you get an 11 out of 20. Yeah, 11 stars. Uh if you have a movie suggestion, the way that it works is favorite movie that you think is underrated, uh, something that you think will knock our socks off, and we'll watch it. Uh, Kyle will go watch his, and I'll go watch mine. And Same my, movie, in but my we'll apartment, do it And Kyle will watch his in his halfway house, and yeah. we'll, we'll com- we won't even compare notes. You know? we won't. Kyle refused to talk to me about this movie until we got on the camera. So That's true. And I wanted to because I wanted to Fuck. just say that I didn't like it before he even watched it. I almost wanted yeah. to just like change. My I was mind. almost dead on that number. midway through. If I didn't, if we didn't, 5. 5. if we didn't commit to watching that movie, I would have. <laughs> oh, turned, yeah. I would have turned it off for, for real. For so certain. that'll tell you more than than anything. It's right. Like I, I wouldn't have finished it. I would not have finished. I would have paused it. My fucking TV would have gone to the screensaver. Yeah. And I would have been looking on my phone. I almost, I came very close to just like kind of skipping, like watching it as I drag it. I zoned just out just like quite a few a times, bit. like checking Facebook. Right. And like um, back I in. paid, I, I watched it for sure, but I, I um, was unsatisfied. Yeah. So if you have right. a movie suggestion, that who's that actress? She was uh, attractive. The brunette. You know, I don't know. She's been in a few things, I think, but she yeah. was she was all right. Of course, I like you her. think she's attractive. You fucking every if it's got a pulse, all, we're all about it. If anything has a pulse, I think it's <laughs> right. Yeah, right. 
I've seen you want to fuck a dog before, right? <laughs> or just a pulse. <laughs> If you have a favorite movie that you think is completely overrated, uh, send it to us. We do read them. DM on Instagram, Egomaniac Podcast. We could go overrated too, but I think he meant underrated. What did I say? I just uh, use your clues. Use my words. <laughs> send it to us on uh, Instagram, Egomaniac Podcast, YouTube.com. Right. Egomaniac Podcast, Facebook. Egomaniac podcast. And then something else is Google. There's one of them. You can Google Egomaniac podcast. <laughs> there's one of them that's like kind of fucked come off, up. though, isn't it? Like we couldn't like, get it. Like ego hyphen. <laughs> yeah. It's, like, it's got like kind of fucking I don't dumb think looking so. because we couldn't get them all or something. I think we got them all. The only thing is that YouTube, it's not youtube.com slash egomaniac podcast until we get 100 subscribers on YouTube. Yeah, so what's up, man? <laughs> That's on you. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think Bro? we I think we're at like 35 as of this point. Um, I don't know. And we need 100 Don't say our numbers on camera, man. All right, we need 100 subscribers to to have slash ego me. So that's the one you were thinking of. Um So, uh yeah, boy. Yeah, so do we a- have any more segments before we want to get into the Jack Garrett Parker? Thank God, no. So we're yeah, Jack Garrett Parker. We're gonna take a little break, and we'll be back with Jack Garrett Parker. All right, welcome back to Ego Maniac Podcast. We've got that was a great break. Yeah, five questions for Kyle. Yeah, <laughs> we have that now. <laughs> No, we did. We just again. watched it. <laughs> yeah. We just um, saw him. So we are back with uh, the infamous Jack Garrett Parker. Here he is. And and uh, and in accordance with his demands, we fulfilled his writer. Yes. Um, so And we hope it is satisfactory for you, Jack. Well, That's we something. got exactly what you wanted. Right. We weren't planning on doing a writer. I don't um, remember y'all asking me. If yeah, I mean, well, you filled it out when you signed right. the consent form. <laughs> yeah. You said, this is what I want. Right, so Get we've got that. Um, Laser, can you bring Jack's writer for him? Oh, we'll take great. It, let's take it out of the box. Oh, Here yeah. we go. We, looks like it's we got everything. Set it, uh, yeah. Move all this yeah. shit. Yeah. <laughs> What do we got here? Is All right. With your, with your writer. Oh. Check the camera right quick, Laser. Let's see. Got some Arnold Palmer now, this light. Is hard to find. Why is it, making, is it just less sugar? That was very specific. Um, so hard to find. And that's uh, Jack, ne- Jack wanted. Hold on, uh, hold on. Let's just take. Arizona. His, um, his writer. Arnold Palmer. Yeah. It's a, it's a diet Ar- Arnold Palmer. Well, what is it, Jack? Uh, no, it's Arnold Palmer, Palmer Light. And, you and that's his L-I-T-E. favorite L-I-T-E. drink. You love it. I guess. Because you asked for it. Uh-huh. You demanded it. So there you so go. There you go. Give him a nice it. big yeah. glass. Tall glass. Oh, yeah. You want some ice, Jack? God, I am not going to drink that. <laughs> that's what you wanted. And, uh, and uh, also, so you wanted a snack. I think you actually. Uh, all that. I was actually hungry. You're actually Is hungry. Hot so dogs? Works uh, out. I think it's uh, what you asked for. What did you ask? Oh. PB and J. You asked for peanut butter and jelly. You see that? Sandwiches. Get that. <laughs> I can get a picture of it put it up there. I'm actually, I'm going to eat that, actually. All right, well, great. So have to because PB and J's. Uh, he and, doesn't uh, have to. It's just a writer. Um, <laughs> well, it's what he evidently needs when he does oh, a podcast. Yeah. And fresh baked cookies. Yeah. And fresh baked cookies. Yeah. And fresh baked cookies. Yeah. Uh, M&M. Cool. The styrofoam plate. plate. I did yeah. not. I couldn't bake those with regular m and But I Laser could, so she did that. These look laser, terrible. Laser baked this. Well, are these... I, I, is that not I don't satisfactory? Come to your house and <laughs> yeah. insult your cookies. Yeah. Well, put them, oh, fuck. Put them, and Kyle put can't them on have the table. any. Kyle's recently found out he has diabetes. Right. So it's <laughs> fucked up. Well, I don't really. It's just that's life. I did. I was telling everybody that I had red, that I had it, but I don't. Um, is that normal? I thought that was part of the deal. 
I've, I don't even know what a peanut butter. I don't know. Is that part of a is that you Am typically I toast? Sick of eating this? How long? No, it it's all good. We that just made it's it. on laser. Yeah. If you do like it, but I mean these hot. I sanitize them first. Yeah, like last those are fresh. July or something. It's In accordance fresh. with your just... rider, everything is brand new. Right. And you signed which, that, which uh, which he put in all caps. Is this Smuckers, brand yeah. new, brand new. Everything it's must like, be brand yeah, new. Yeah, got is it. it. Smuckers, John. What no, is it? Like laser? It's like some it's like Hill Country Fair. It's something like that. It's great yeah. value. Let me get a bite. I think great it's called Walmart. Black Blackburns Jelly. Blackbird. Blackburns mm. Burns. Did I make them well? No, I don't want that. I, I tried like that my very, of, very, very bread. best. Thank I saw laser. a laser back there earlier with a hot dog bun. I was like, are you going to have some of your... And you were like, that doesn't fit. Something doesn't fit about No, I thought she was making hot dogs, oh, but yeah. then I didn't see her eating a hot dog. And then I was like, man, I want a hot dog. I should ask and her. And you almost went and got a hot dog. I'm, yeah. Yeah. Um, but this is... Um, and then we got you these socks. I know you've been growing your hair out. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so we'll have to. And One they say five. they say love your locks. Oh, love, yeah, love your locks. Oh. Um, this was Old Navy's item of the week. It is a special item and a special price. Mm. Do you like Old Navy? Um, I like them for their great deals on denim. I'm and not right 15, now, the, so. right now they're having their huge fifty percent off sale. I'm pretty sure I'm wearing great Old styles Navy at right great now. prices. Old Navy. I'm 90% sure this is an Old Navy t-shirt that I'm wearing. You know, I really love their t-shirts. So welcome. (laughs) Egomaniac Podcast, episode 002. Mm -hmm. You are a barista, but you barista. And our our first guest. True. It's another thing. uh, Shout out Eden Welpley, uh, one of your coworkers. Mm Mm-hmm. Bad accident, and she's got a GoFundMe that we'll drop in the. We'll uh, put it below the YouTube, YouTube subscription. Link. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for doing as that. well as yeah. on social media. Struck by a vehicle. Yeah, I don't, I don't know all the details, but she's, um, or should I don't know, say them here, but she hurt pretty good. And yeah, could probably use the as help, much all help the help as, she as can, get. can get. And Jack is uh, works at Radio Coffee and Beer, which we frequent, and I often work at. Uh, when I'm doing my little art thing, if I if I got something small enough to that I don't have to work it uh, work on it here in studio, I'll take it up there to radio and work on it so I can be out in the the sunlight because they have a massive outdoor seating area. It's huge. Yeah, it is massive. And they, uh, they just got rid of the uh, paperboy truck. Something else exciting is going to be. Did there. they? I don't know what yet. Yeah, they just keep, fucking like, hell ago. yeah. I don't think radio Great. did. I don't think radio. Oh well, someone like, got them out of here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, Paperboy, they, somebody, Jack and Trey personally yeah, moved it out of there. Trey will be a future yeah. guest on the podcast. I think you he's think like, so? yeah, yeah. If he says yeah, if he likes us, all right. Shit. I don't think he does. Shit, um, he's got his own podcast. We got to do cross promo. Oh, yeah, it's he, like part of the deal. Yeah, but, that's right. Cock, cockroach yeah, conservatory. Paper boy, is what he does. the fuck out of there. You know why they're the fuck out of there? Because they were open till two p.m. For because one. they didn't make any money. Because nobody likes their food and it's expensive. And their nobody, food was pretty good. It was expensive, and they were only open till like nobody two. wants to have a fucking no offense locks uh, bagel. Yeah. I don't think they had Oh, they that. didn't have locks, I don't think they had that. He thought you may be offended because of those socks, I think, that you asked for, the locks socks. I... I think y'all. I didn't actually ask ask for those. But so uh, Jack is a busy man. He works at radio. He also uh, does art. He's in school. He's a musician. How do you do it all, or do you do it all? Um, Tell us about your life a little bit. Well, what's let's, you, what's let's your talk week? about it because you weren't always all of those things. No, you were one at one point a piece of garbage. Yeah. But you thought you thought you knew. In a Some court. people might say I still am. And on on par with oh. well, I don't know how many people are. Probably not people. Sweetheart. Yeah, probably not people that currently interact with you. Right. But there yeah. are probably some people yeah. who know you as a piece of shit. Yeah. The uh, <laughs> the the uh, you you but you thought you knew what the fuck was up back in the day. In yeah. tradition with our the title of our podcast. You what th- is the name of? The book? 
Egomania. It's called right Jack Ego Jack's Mania. Wild Ride. Oh, wow. oh and that's a nice that that logo. That, logo that nice logo. You just said you it was like there. felt like paper from China. <laughs> so <laughs> well, that nice. So now who's lying? <laughs> that no, nice logo. Nice Captain right. Peanut Butter and Jelly uh, Sandwich. He likes on. the logo, which Jack designed. Mm-hmm. This logo. He did. Oh yeah, that's what you were getting at. Right. Shout out Jack, and yeah. we'll get we'll get more into that because uh, you haven't been doing that shit long. You know, I think that that's pretty right. cool, but dialing it way back. Yeah, you were heading to where a time in Jack's life where he was a complete egomaniac and only focused on himself. Mm-hmm. Um, can you tell us a little bit about that, or maybe when that was when you first noticed yeah, how that old about were yourself? You before before things got a little bit brighter. Well, um, I guess. Well, I, I'm I'm clean and sober now. Sure. Right. 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 Um, and I've been for years, right? Uh, coming up on ten years in August. That's Good awesome, gravy. Man. Yeah, that's three hundred and sixty-five times ten. That's, yeah, that's do the that's math on that math with three thousand hours, <laughs> days, <laughs> and four hundred nights. Kyle said he three hundred fifty school. He what? said he can do any mathematic equation. I didn't say that. The TI eighty three. With the without, TI-83. without, he is pretty good. I couldn't. At math, yeah, math I am though. pretty good. Um, so, ten years is coming up. Yeah. <laughs> um, so the original question, I guess, was before that. What? Uh, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Before, <laughs> I don't really care. About why? <laughs> yeah. Let, what, let's why? let's go back as far as yeah. how. When do you going as far back as you could? When do you remember first being a piece of shit? <laughs> That's a good question. Oh man. Yeah. Like, what are we talking? Like I'm like, seven, I don't want to self-incriminate seven, myself. 7, 8, right. 12, 16? I guess um, I started kind of maybe fucking people over in high school. So when, okay. you, when you were yeah. becoming a man. <laughs> right, right. right. You were like, started stealing shit. Stealing you know, shit and had money. Had some hormones yeah, going yeah, on. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah, a little... And was that fuel? Putting and flour and cocaine and selling it to people. Were, right. Did you really? No, I never did that. But that was right. fueled you by that. your... Uh, were you already addicted to drugs at that point or, or addicted to alcohol at that point? On your way? When you, when, sure, when you began yeah. I think that, that was sort of a... That they coincided. Helped, yeah, helped yeah. that sort of behavior along. Right. Sure. What was your if if you would like to talk about it? What what kind of what were you deal? getting into? What were you splashing around in? I, what was like your little? What was my thing? What was your thing? You know. I mean, uh, besides women, <laughs> women, <laughs> hordes and hordes of women, <laughs> or did you like kind of vacillate between different drugs of choice? Yeah, I mean, there was there. Uh, any, pretty much anything you had, I was I was willing. Did to, it start that to, way? Anything? No, I mean it started with booze. Booze first, yeah. and and that was uh, around weed. what fourteen, fifteen. I think I was a late bloomer. It was probably around sixteen. 16? Yeah. Okay, I think Tenth, I smoked tenth pot grade or so. Yeah. I, my first night, I, I got drunk. I, I drank. Uh, we had a went to my buddy's older brother's house. He was like twenty five, I think. And we were all in high school. Yeah, and uh, and we had a. Ice chest full of uh, Zima. Remember Zima? Yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah, I got Remember the ladies like to put Jolly Ranchers in theirs. You know, that's when they were, <laughs> that's when they were getting loose. I, I think that's, I don't that. no, that's I know that about real syrup. syrup. Look, syrup. We'll dry, maple syrup, not maple like syrup. Log cabin? <laughs> no, promethazine with coating. Oh, you yeah. mean like, sorry. Yeah, look, yeah, look, <laughs> this, maple this is a, <laughs> we used to put Jolly Ranchers in maple syrup. This is Jolly Ranchers. You're from Mississippi. You know about that? Yeah, Jolly Ranchers on pancakes. Rich, rich. White people shit. Right. Eat, eat Jolly Ranchers and syrup. Yeah. Um, Cody. Jolly Ranchers. We'll drop a photo right there because you you definitely don't, don't seem like you believe me, but that was the thing. That what? was the thing to do. Jolly Ranchers in the Zima. Like candy? We can yeah. check it out. Huh. Yeah, we'll get into it. You we'll drop into it. You drop one okay. in there and it turns it. Uh, it that fl- color. To right. flavors it like whatever. So that was your first time getting drunk was on some right. Zimas some at Zima. your buddy's older brother's house. Yeah. Nice. It's fucking. I got colossal <laughs> headache. Yeah, I don't. I don't really remember. I mean, I remember it was fun. Right. Yeah. yeah. The the um the first time that I drank, just because this seems odd, and I think you'll like this. <laughs> the um the very first time I drank, it was over at a buddy's house, uh, and we got it raided his dad's liquor cabinet, and we were drinking like I don't even remember what something very some like uh it might have been like chardonnay or something i don't even remember what it was but we um we drank we (laughs) we drank some pinot and uh we watched a movie called femalian which was on uh what's the what was the 
the softcore porn uh, Skinamax. Skinamax, Skinamax, which was on Skinamax. Was, so that might exactly. that might be what the fuck oh, is wrong with you? It's way or at least one of them. That's why you wear those. Hats. That's, that's why I wear these hats. That's yeah. what's wrong with me. <laughs> um, I used to. Uh, no, I don't. I don't know why I said I used to. But yeah, the very first time I got drunk, me and my buddy watched uh, Femalium, which was about uh, a softcore porn. <laughs> about these uh, aliens who would um, have sex with humans. Humans. I could be into Earthlings. that, you know, yeah. depending on what kind of a fucking alien it is. Like, if it's like predators. I feel like I've not, had but... sex with aliens, probably. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Some people. Yeah. That's true. Um, that's true. <laughs> that's true. You yeah. probably. That's he true. Knows. Jack has had sex with. But you're aliens. like insult. You're saying some people like right. you may have had like a real like deal. Actual, one. Yeah. You do seem like I you could be. You do you seem like you could be from the future. From the future. Yeah. Like what, you know, I've like, said that about you before yeah. because you're, people have said that you're yeah. very like futuristic. That's the first looking. time. Not the first time we've that. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Just I think general you're, appearance. Right. And as far as... I, I don't know Batman, why I went right. future with it. I was We were talking about aliens. Do you mean it's because, like... David I Bowie. I have, like, a glassy... Okay, so if you look, look at you... Is, <laughs> you look at you, and then look at Troglodyte. Troglodyte, right, yeah. Right. So right, you see the whole who's span. Who's more futuristic? Oh, definitely yeah, me. Definitely yeah. Jack. And I'm a Next male model, Yeah, and you can't you can't tell me anything. Did you say you're a male model? Yeah, you, <laughs> you can't tell me anything. <laughs> Weird. There's um. nothing. There's nothing <laughs> you could oh, you could Where tell did me. That come from? Uh, you guys are weird. There's man. nothing you could tell me so, about how to look, huh? So Jack got. I don't know if you heard. Jack <laughs> got drunk for his first time on some Zimas some at Zima, his yeah, yeah. buddy's house, and then from there he started. I assume drinking. From there, I was shooting heroin. Week. The next day, I started shooting heroin. Really? Really? No. Oh man! <laughs> I was like, "Damn, dude! God damn!" Zima and Jolly Ranchers really fast game up, to fast track to, to the needle. Yeah, no, that uh, took a while. You drank right. for a while, and I, I, drank for a while. Added pot, I guess, or what? I yeah, did it I vice versa. Actually, I was, no, I think I was drinking, and smoked pot, and same simultaneously yeah. for every weekend did, or so. Yeah, for a while, yeah, did one of these with the twenty-five-year-old. Yeah, like the older brother. That was weird. That's it's weird to think about. Fucking real. <laughs> Imagine fucking being that twenty five year old. He like bought us all the <laughs> right. alcohol and the weed. Yeah, super yeah. sketchy. Hanging out with some fifty, and you know he had to. Like that was his thing. Right. He, like yeah. got a bunch of fucking. Yeah. Anything else going on that? Yeah. Night. He's right. like these kids think I'm a god. Yeah. yeah. And, and I'm sure goes, it felt good to be like. He's the, probably still doing it. Yeah. And <laughs> right. then he'd like fucking next morning go work at his job at Blockbuster, get right. shit on by everybody. Like, You're son, fucking whatever. late again. <laughs> Do you think so? Loser. How old would he have to be for you to feel like, in hindsight, it was creepy? What if he had been fifty-seven? Maybe less creepy. Less creepy. I we knew some cats like that. Yeah. This dude, I worked at a dry cleaner. His name was Jaron, and he just hung Jaren? out with Jaron. He was a fucking. Damn. He he That's would weird. buy his fucking booze. Was and he shit. an older brother of somebody or was no? He, just, he was oh. the fucking owner of the place. He was a wait, 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 homosexual man. A the dry cleaner Chilis? I worked at. Oh. And it was a me and a bunch of high school buddies. We all worked there, and he would What'd fucking hook us. He you would, worked at the drink cleaner? <laughs> yeah. I was, it, Weird. How are you not following, man? I feel like I keep repeating this. I worked at a dry cleaner. What did you do at the dry cleaner? I worked in the back with all, like, the indigent people. Did you work? Did you? What do you mean you yeah, worked? Yeah, yeah. Like, loaded. There's these big fucking, like, almost like hoppers that the clothes go into. Like, the tumblers that the clothes go in for dry cleaning. Oh, God. <laughs> Kyle, <laughs> Kyle, dry cleaning. <laughs> yeah, but anyways, like I worked back there with all like the the I don't know how to the laborers the what the are you trying to say undocumented employees, oh. um, which is the truth. You yeah, know, yeah. that's not me being like fucking. Right. So uh, there were also you were underage as well. So you were undocumented, maybe or no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't yeah. think that's the same. Is yeah, that how I don't, it works? I mean, in, some, <laughs> in some senses, <laughs> under the table, yeah, he was I had a undocumented yeah. I had a yeah. social security number. Okay, you know, I right? Fucking but cop with, the check. Yeah, but okay. okay. You know, I wasn't getting paid cash yeah, or anything. A printed check. Yeah, yeah. But it was me and some fucking other fellow dipshit homies, and we worked at the well, dry cleaner. What was your first job, Jack? My first job was. I think it, I worked at a drive through convenience store. Nice, like a beer barn? Yeah. Kind of thing? Yeah. Cool. That's what the fuck is up. So you it was like, red. And you were 16 here? Was this when you were drinking? 
Yeah, I just started probably drinking. Just started too. partying. Just started where partying. where was this? Where was this? Like in my hometown, yeah. Somerset, Texas. Which yeah yeah, which you didn't have a lot of money growing up. No, nah. you said something in passing one time that you drank well water. You you're like, I, oh yeah, we had well I, water. I drank out of a well till I was eighteen. Did you have to go fetch like, the the pail and every the rope? Damn, really? No. Oh, man. <laughs> but it was fucking, had, it was I well mean, we water. had a, we had a well right before. Like, yeah, we lived a, down in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, right. which is like you don't know nothing about that. I don't. I've never no. fetched. You were rich. You were, were, yeah, you were wealthy, raised rich, right? Wealthy Pretty white person. Per wealthy, yeah. I was. I was not though. That's oh, that's rich. You drive a Lexus, don't you? That's the thing. <laughs> He'll play it off like he's not. He drives like a brand fucking new Lexus. What do you drive? Huh? I drive a fucking Tiburon, <laughs> like a 2007, clanking down the road. I'm about to get a fucking art van. I'm just irresponsible is what, right, is what that is. Right, right, right. Yeah. Um, he grew up rich. He can afford to make decisions now you're like irresponsible that. as an adult. Yeah. What yeah. a luxurious like, irresponsible. mistake to make. Like, oh, I should have done something else. No, it wasn't it wasn't a mistake. It's a high mileage uh vehicle. It's an investment. It's nice and I like Cars it. are good, good investments, investment. that's what I hear. High <laughs> yeah. mileage. Cars investment. are terrible investments. They're all yeah. <laughs> the car that the car that you most recently bought was a bad investment. Yeah. Um so Yeah, bucket. well water, um, Zima. Um Yeah. Yeah. I wonder if the mic's picking up me eating this fucking cookie. Probably. That was probably like a tacky mistake, but probably if it's not, I'll make sure to amp it up on the <laughs> A um, peanut butter one. Hot dog. Yeah. Well, that's a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> um. So sorry, we keep getting off track here. Right, right. right. Uh, well, who are you, you apologizing to? <laughs> the uh, viewers. They don't care. Our listeners. Eventually, um, they don't give a shit. Do they not? No, no they like it. This. They like, um, the, they like the meandering. So Jack was uh, partying for a while. He was working at a beer barn, maybe stealing beers from the beer barn. Probably. Yeah. Definitely stealing Doral's. Doral's. Steal, stealing yeah. Stealing's Doral's. the shit. When you're a yeah. young fuck up. I should probably pay back money for those Doral's I stole. Just now clicked, Just huh? clicked. Is, is it still around? Right. Huh? Oh, oh yeah. Still, still around. around. You yeah. know what my guy has me do is like if they're still around, it might fuck up their books yeah. to go pay him back. So you fucking um, just go steal donate. something else that you know. <laughs> go yeah. steal from another gas station and leave, and, like, and then just leave continue the in there, right? You know, right, and then you right, just right. have to continue to do that. Yeah, to keep the cycle <laughs> to going. keep the right. cycle going. We're right. Keeping, yeah. it's, it's, I haven't stolen anything in a long time, but stealing was a shit That's back good. in the day. Oh yeah, it's like yeah. It didn't make sense. Like what you were actually doing. you're like it's free. It didn't make sense to pay. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, right. right. It's if free. It's right there, yeah. yeah. If I can get away with it. Yeah. If I don't, it's like a... Well, fun. a lot of times I don't even think about it. You're just like snagging shit. Right. You know I, mean? I got a little high um, off of that shit. Yeah. I don't, yeah, I don't remember. Like a little stealing. What a fucking rush. So so you went from stealing <laughs> the rouse. You went from mm-hmm. taking a taking a couple of cigarettes from the beer barn and partying on the weekends. Like a pretty... I think everybody in high school does those things. And then at a certain point, <laughs> at a certain <laughs> point, some- you were, I believe, uh, doing heroin. Yeah, I got around to that eventually. Where was, yeah, yeah what, I guess, like I guess serve, quickly take the, man? yeah, quickly take me to that, I guess, quickly, between those, yeah, yeah. As qui- yeah, between those two uh, steps. I mean, yeah, I don't know really how that happens. I mean, you just kind of, for well, me, so, it was like, it, it's sort of incremental, right? It's yeah. like you start smoking pot, um, you do that a bunch, and then. Doing other drugs, and then you got you're drinking, drinking the whole time. Drinking. And you're like, maybe yeah, pop that, and that or, is the what, that's the gateway saying, drug, that, right? Well, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, not alcohol. not to say that pot's the uh, yeah, right, right. Um, and drinking was kind of the steady thing the whole time through all my using it was was alcohol. It was like it started with alcohol and ended up with alcohol, but uh, yeah, I don't know. It was I grew up in a small town. There wasn't a lot to do. There was like so many drugs available. Lots. Yeah. So, like what? What are you talking about? Drugs. I mean, tons of cocaine and heroin. San Antonio, I mean, whenever My I shit. grew up, yeah. Coke? Yeah. Boy. Mixing them together. Get all fucking fired up. God, what a waste of time cocaine is. <laughs> oh, it's man. It makes you real fucking. Money. Yeah. Talk about depression. All you want to do is more cocaine. Right. When the sun come up. Yeah. That's the first time Birds I remember being like, suddenly, overwhelmingly clinically depressed. Re- yeah, <laughs> watching this right, watching, watching the, sun the sun come, come up, up. Yeah. the first time on and, coke. Well, or driving of, home and out of cocaine as well. Yeah. That's, a necessary, that's a necessary. Uh, and out of money, part or of fuck. 
have yeah. in cocaine look. Or add a, add a yeah, cigarette Yeah, but it's not nearly too. as depressing as also being out of cocaine. Yeah. And out of, oh, out of cigarettes. Got to forget about it. the dealer's got to go to bed yeah. at some point. Right. Big Danny. Shout out Big Danny. Yeah, they always answer the phone, though. I don't know. Mine I had some guys that did was a for sure. <laughs> yeah. I had some that were always answered. And I guess they didn't always answer the phone. Didn't. They answered the phone, and a lot of times it would be like, yeah, I'll be there in a minute. Yeah, right. And then and it's, it's like, two, it never happens. God. And you're fucking just pounding whiskey at the bar with your fucking Dude, shitty friends. And That was the worst. Like, Where's the guy? Is he coming? Yeah. It's like, oh, yeah, I'm right down the street. Right. It's like, yeah. you call him this time. Yeah. I'm not going to call him. Or, call even, him or even worse, meeting at like a Walmart parking lot uh, right. and waiting 45 minutes yeah. to three hours. Yeah. Those were the days, man. So you're doing the doing coke and oh yeah, doing all that and you know pills, pills and yeah, we used to do these things called somas, which were like oh yeah, you know those yeah, yeah. I know somas, the, the little mu- round muscle white relaxers. things, muscle relaxers. We would take those, crush them up. I did, Whoa. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> with of other course. Xanax and uh, like yeah. I would, I would take. I would put those and whatever else, probably like antidepressants, whatever I could find, <laughs> and just smush it up. Yeah. And Benadryl. We'd be, we'd be drinking whiskey, and I'd smush it up and just like line it out with whatever craziest friends I may be with that would be willing to put it up their nose. And then, you know, that was it. put it up your butt. Put it up my keister, yeah. Yeah. No, I I maybe would have if it would have been a a greater effect if I knew that it would have, yeah. It would. Um, Yeah. I didn't, I don't think I You put something in your butthole, man? I don't think I ever put anything in my butthole. You? Wait, like drugs? drugs? Yeah, <laughs> drugs, yeah. So uh, Finger? Maybe. If he, yeah, I was probably drunk, maybe there's man, probably So I just thing. fucking, it probably would have wound up there one day. Pouring some, booze in your butthole? Absolutely. Some yeah. drunks do that, man. But it didn't. Just funnel it right up the asshole. <laughs> Did you put anything in your butthole? Mm-mm. I never syrup. needed to. Syrup. Syrup. Cabin. <laughs> Maple syrup. <laughs> yeah. Jolly Rancher. Did you ever, just, be honest, did you ever put a Jolly Rancher in your butthole? What, what effect would that do? It would change the color. So when I'm like, t- when I'm talking question. out of my ass, Answer like, the question. Know, like, yeah, I never put a Jolly Rancher in my butthole. <laughs> <laughs> Comment below if you've ever put a Jolly Rancher in your butthole or anything else you may have put oh. in your butthole. Um, okay, so I'm a male model, baby. <laughs> eventually, Jack's doing heroin uh, and still <laughs> drinking, and then um, at some point. Oh, let me ask you this. Were yeah. you playing music uh, or doing any other form of art during that time? Yeah, so I was playing music around the time. Uh, I guess I started playing guitar around 17 or so, and then um, maybe 16 or 17, and then shortly after that, I started kind of getting into drugs and stuff. Do you like Anyone Can Play Guitar by uh, Radiohead? I don't know if I know that, that song by the title. It was the off the first album. Yeah, maybe of course if I heard do. it, I would... You know. You'd probably know it. I'm not yeah. a big Radiohead guy. Honestly. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to all the Radiohead fans. You fucking. Uh, um. Anything so yeah, you were playing guitar at 17. Did. did you start a band then? <laughs> were you in a band? I was in a band. You were yeah. a metal guy, right? Yeah, San really? Antonio. Was a, oh yeah, yeah. He's a metal guy. What San was Antonio, the name of your man. fucking deal? I mean, there was a few. What, um, right? what was it? June. Was J U N was was the J U N cool. was What's it like J that? was it like German spelling or it's like Norwegian I don't, I don't or think Norwegian so. is it it's I like think Alaska. they just I think the singer just erased the E I think he spelled June but no. kept it June that's yeah. less yeah. cool and you were the lead guitar for was, that well yeah I guess or guitar, so. two guitar rhythm players, guitar yeah. okay yeah yeah cool what was the other one what was it. Was what was the other dude. one? June? What was his name? Oh, no, band. other band, yeah. The, the other guy. guy. No, it was June. No, no. Check out June. Uh, do y'all have any stuff on spot on SoundCloud <laughs> or anything? MySpace, probably. MySpace. Yeah, Check yeah. out June on MySpace. MySpace. Yeah. We'll drop a link below if it still exists. Yeah. Um, yeah. Any other That's bands you were in back then? Um, that band was kind of the remember? mainstay, and then I would play with some other bands every once in a while. Guitar. In but. sixth grade, I was in a band called Tetanus 12. And uh, because really? we, we were all that? we were all tetanus, we were all <laughs> you all tested positive for tetanus. <laughs> no, that's what it sounded like. I was gonna say Stepped we were all twelve. Nails. We were all twelve years old, and um, we thought tetanus sounded cool. And uh, <laughs> yeah. I mean, it God. does. At twelve, you're like, <laughs> yeah. things you yeah. think are cool. it's like a cuss yeah. word. Tetanus yeah. was very yeah metal, and we never we were in that band like all school year and told people about it. We probably like. Made like designs and stuff like that. Never like once the stussy. <laughs> never s- once practiced. S- I think our drummer was like planning on getting a drum, his first drum set or something. But we told we totally like 
said we were in Kids a band. Kids are such fucking while. liars, man. Yeah, right. Um, so you're playing rock and roll and you're fucking eating pills. Sex and drugs yeah. and rock and roll. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Was, yeah. yeah. Getting into some weird... Black hair. Had right. my hair dyed Did black. you really? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's from the future. Yeah. <laughs> um, did that uh, fucking robot yeah. guy with the black hair from that movie? He was like uh, Johnny Depp. I don't know. He Edward wore a trench coat. Sands. It was in a comedy. He wore a trench coat and he was like Matrix, the Neo. Yeah, Keanu, no, they, Keanu no, but it was a comedy and the guy like kind of looked like the whole Neo thing. You comedy. know, he had black slick back hair and he was like talk like a robot. My name is something. Everybody clowned on him. I don't know. Somebody man. out there knows what the fuck I'm Somebody talking comment, about. Somebody uh, comment what that is. Or yeah. Laser, you know, call you know the anything line. about that? No, well, I'm not going right. to talk about mm-hmm. it again, but... All right. Yeah, it's she's fucking, on Instagram. That's going to drive yeah. me crazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she's like I'm on Instagram <clears> fucking me. around, not looking at the fucking levels or anything. <laughs> so like, um, what like about... stop recording an hour ago. Were you... Uh, <laughs> what else were you doing? Were you drawing back then? No, I wasn't really making art. I was playing music and doing drugs. And okay, yeah. right on. But, you know, it, was kind of, it wasn't bad yet. It was still kind of Right, fun. you were having a good time. Yeah, yeah. having a good time. Um, you know, there, in San Antonio, all the clubs, all the music clubs are well, all ages. Oh, right so on. So we could go. And all kinda, of them? Or just a really? lot? Well, at the a time, where, all the music yeah. venues were like White Rabbit and all these big venues. that Was were, it like 15 and up? Like probably? It was probably, it was actually probably 18 and up. Okay. Yeah, or maybe it was all like ages. That. It might have been all ages. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. I guess nobody's really like bringing their baby to... To it though, no, because I remember going in high school. It must have been all ages, yeah. Maybe so, or it could have been fifteen. Some some of those places have been fifteen and up. Yeah, some I don't shows remember. Are. Somebody out there, um, they, people yeah. Know. Somebody comment. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So Call the like hotline with uh, how old you got to be in San yeah. Antonio bars. Um, <laughs> somebody out there knows. They're like, he's fucking got it all wrong. He's a yeah. fucking club right. owner. I was going there since he's I like, was we- thirteen. Uh, we only yeah. tried that for yeah, uh, like yeah. a summer. Right. We're 18 and up now. Yeah. <laughs> well, fuck this guy. Fuck that podcast, too. <laughs> yeah. Well, fuck how did, sobriety. I up, how did I end up yeah. seeing this? Yeah. Right. yeah. <laughs> um, fuck so. my cousin that shared this. <laughs> yeah. Right. He's the worst. Um, so it's like it. you're, in your, you're in your early 20s. Early 20s. I mean, le- like early Chewing shit, smoking 19, shit. When early you were 20s, doing, 19. Yeah, when you were really getting yeah. worse drinking off. Drinking shit. Yeah, yeah drinking. Um, I, mean, it all, I mean, it happened really quickly. From the time I started doing all that stuff to the time I stopped was... I mean, it was a, like Wait. maybe four or five years. Yeah, but that's similar. Which is a Sim- stretch when you're fucking that's getting similar it. similar to my yeah, story, yeah. yeah. But it's a, you know... It's and there was times I was off and on the drugs and just like drinking. As you, you do. Know. Right. Um, you're like, man, I need to get my shit together. Yeah. And so I so guess shout out people getting their shit 2008, together. 2008, is that when you got sober? Mm, 2009. 2009, okay. Yeah. Um, August. I guess uh, what kind of like, I guess it was just time, huh? Like you, you were well, super I mean, what miserable had, like, or any, what kind of, was there some big, sort of catalyst? Or well, I, moved, up, up, I moved to Austin in 2007 uh, that summer to... Get, to try to get sober and I had a, a family friend lived up here and I moved in with them um, their family and then uh, I was on methadone at the time so I had to go into rehab to detox off of that and alcohol and whatever else I was doing had you been going to a clinic in yeah San I was Antonio? going to a clinic for a while what happened is I got basically kind of hit a bottom got kind of caught I was still living at home with my parents and we just where I'm from there's people don't know how to deal with that shit so yeah, it's like right but back then, and by that, the South more like or all my buddies the are like, oh yeah, like you know, the way they got clean or stopped using was they went and got a methadone. So it's like that's what my idea of like this was like help was, you know. We didn't, we weren't like nuts deep in the opioid epidemic back then. Do you know what I mean? Uh, I, may, I don't know. Were well, we not? Fentanyl, I mean, fentanyl, well, fentanyl, 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 not the yeah, yeah, current one that we're in. Yeah, 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 yeah. What turned it into a nat- national crisis? Right. Exactly, like and methadone. then also even above just the um, epidemic, I feel like there's been. And maybe this is just in my own life and what I experienced, especially working under rehab, but I feel like there's more awareness around addiction now than there's Sure. Well, yeah, it's less stigmatized, a beautiful thing. I feel like. Right. <clears throat> um, they're, they'll hand out Narcan to anybody, which I think is brilliant. Like, it's yeah. great. It's keep fantastic. Keep some in your, I don't know. Keep, I didn't even know what Narcan was whenever I was using. No, me How neither. How fucked up was that? Me neither. Was it a deal, it was though? Was it a round? 
Was um, Narcan around? I mean, it was only it used in, like, in the hospitals, like Uma Thurman. You know, Uma Thurman. Yeah, so. yeah, it was around, I think. I, um, like in a big I'm syringe. I'm not sure how long it was. It was now it's yeah, well, that was the Uma Thurman thing. That was adren- just adrenaline. Oh, was it? Uh, yeah. Uh, that was, a, it was cool. That was, to, that was to like reshock your heart. Yeah. Um, yeah, how about that shit? What if you thought you saw that and you thought that's how you administered Narcan? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> stab it into their yeah. chest. Yeah. Don't so stab fucking, people's chest with Narcan. Narcan's like I a, think it goes in the leg. No, maybe? now they have or the fucking, go, Oh, the, the sniffers. The, yeah, yeah, that's right. It's they like got a little, the sniffers now. And then, bing, bang, boom. You're all right. You put it in your glove box, like you said, or your trunk. Right. I guess the heat doesn't yeah, fuck it all up or turn it You can get one... And you should. And uh, yeah, they're get, fr- they're free. You can get a wall. Comment. On I think the video there's places. I think there oh, are Walgreens, ways CVS? to get them free. Oh really? Yeah. I, but I don't think they're just. I don't think you can just walk into a CVS and get be like, "Yo, free. hook it up, dude. I want yeah. a bucket of that <laughs> shit, <laughs> man." Like you could synthesize it down and actually make heroin out of it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? You're like, I'm, I got those Narcan cakes. I don't think, cakes, that, like, I don't think that's cooking what it's that for. Narcan yeah. up in the kitchen. Um, reverse engineer it. Okay, so you and your folks weren't seeing eye to eye, but uh, you, ended you up, think? <laughs> you, yeah. <laughs> but you went to get sober, and yeah. uh, we didn't know how to do this, so you went to dry up in Austin. Is yeah, that, so I came okay. to Austin with the the idea that I would um, get sober. Yeah. So I came here. I transferred to another methadone clinic to fi- until I figured out here what I was Austin. doing. Yeah. yeah. And uh, and so I went into treatment that summer. How was that? How was getting off methadone? It was terrible. Really? Yeah. Yeah, it was fucked up. Terrible. Yeah. It's it's much worse than just getting off heroin. Really? Yeah. Subox- same with Suboxone. It's worse because it has like longer half life. Yeah. For one, and also then it's just like I never in your fully bones. kicked ever. Still haven't fully kicked. <laughs> I'm still <laughs> fucking. I've never yeah. kicked. See, I don't know ever. anything about this. <laughs> methadone. Oh, uh, you would never completely. I never fully completely fully got ever off of got opiates. off of opiates. Before, wow. Before that, time. went straight. I'd gone methadone. days, a couple days, and like really right. sick, but, but not, still would have probably p- failed a piss test. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. And so, Damn. you know, this was an extended detox, which was terrible. It was, oh, it sounds. You feel like you're dying. Sounds horrible. Yeah. You can't die from it. I Were you in treatment or detox? Well, it was both. How yeah. many? How long? Yeah. Um, I was there for 28 days. Which one was it? Both. Te- uh, oh, Texas Star. Really? Yeah. Okay. Shout out. Oh yeah. Yeah, dude. Cool. Yeah. Laurel went there too. I think yeah. I was. I live right by it. Maybe one of the first group of people, and because it was to like this there. neuro rehab place for a while. Do they have your poster, or your picture on the wall? My poster. <laughs> <laughs> they do give you fucking, but you have to like beg for your little copy. Uh, let's I, get. I liked it, but I didn't have any point of reference. I mean, so. it was fine. I mean, but I mean, I was coming off of methadone right? yeah i had a bunch of people like you around me but i didn't you know i didn't think i was gonna i thought i was gonna get out of there Heroin which works. i uh, you know which did happen is i got out of there and immediately started using it again but did you yeah well i got out that day That's how you do it okay and i immediately drove to like 12th and chacon i was mm-hmm. like i need to find some fucking- so you already knew that was the spot you were already you were doing heroin in austin before um this? yeah i mean yeah but yeah. no i didn't know that was a spot maybe, I just, maybe you- I just knew that you could cop something there. Go find so, it. And, yeah, yeah, and right. y'all can help me out with this because I, I didn't ever do heroin. Uh, I thought that I would like probably end up there if I kept drinking because yeah. drinking wasn't working anymore. But um, I've heard this from heroin addicts that the, you can be dropped in any city or mm-hmm. anywhere and you can more or less find heroin within a 24-48 hour period. Not know anything, just asking around or like. It's kind of. It I mean, you did a lot I, of. You did. Never really you did cocaine, right? Cocaine. Yeah. So it's yeah. like it's it's not gonna be that much different. Maybe a little bit. I'd just say heroin would be a little bit more difficult. Than yeah, cocaine I would say so too. To find, um, it was always I was easy to right. find. Also, never just got dropped like in crack. any crack. I could find crack all the time. Also, like, never got yeah. dropped in any yeah. cities personally, really. Right. But I probably well, it's could a hypothetical. Have, no, I right. know, and I probably could have. I would have found some drugs, yeah. As a drug addict, right? right. You I would have. Find I, some I, shit. I, I never was, went without the feats yeah. we could accomplish yeah. were unbelievable yeah. as as drug addicts in order to get uh, more drugs. Um, yeah, it's like that with booze too, man. I drank some right. shit, boy. Yeah, and you would do. You would have accomplished anything that you needed to do to to get that. Yeah, it's um, true. Right. Um, so nothing. There's no um, fear of the unknown holding you back. Yeah, from finding your shit. So you ought to, to, to finish those off by the time we 
They're kind of tasty, man. I haven't yet to eat one yet. Yeah, and they're his. They're Jack's, and you've been eating all of them. Well, I mean, I paid for them, so. Yeah, but it's his writer. Oh, uh, well. Yeah, you hadn't really, you hadn't hardly touched that. What, is, what does that mean? Well, when you fuck up a rider, what does it mean? Like, they're not going to book with you again? Right. Uh, he's, yeah, he's going to. This is the first and last time. Email our management. Yeah. He's going to text laser. I'm uh, going to call Jack Wilson and be like, don't let these dudes in radio anymore. Right. Bang you off you need to call them and tell them we need new fucking mic stands and build yeah. boom arms. Jack How about Wilson. That? Shout or just out Jack like, Wilson. You know, we need money. Shut up. <laughs> um, so, uh, Texas Star. Texas Star. Fish stick. Well, you got out and you God, immediately went to 12th and Jacone. You scored. I didn't. You didn't score. You I went to score. go score. Okay. Mm-hmm. Sorry, I'm eating this uh, it's fine. peanut butter. Enjoy. Uh, he made it extra dry. Yeah, it's really fucking yeah. dry. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So, went, couldn't score, and I was like, well, fuck it. I guess I'll just try to stay sober. <laughs> Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. So. And then is that since you've been sober? No. Okay. No. So I stayed sober for a few months probably, and then um, and then eventually, I didn't think I was an alcoholic. I thought I was just a drug. I so thought you, I was hanging out with the wrong people at the wrong time. The right. Wrong place. As, as a lot of us do think. Yeah. That. I a thought it was us, the shitty uh, town I was from, this, or like it was the, you know, like the the people I was hanging out with. Or, or just heroin's that addicting. Right. Or yeah. I, yeah, I started using the most addictive drug known to right. man. So, so it's, like, it's of fault. Of course I was going to get it. Of course it would be all fucked up. Right. <laughs> you know, all those things. Um, and, uh, yeah, so... I started drinking, and that sort of really took me, you know, two years. Were you to, playing music at that point? No, I would stopped playing since yeah. early. Yeah, yeah. I moved to Austin. I didn't, and I stopped playing music. Okay, you doing all right there, bud? Yeah, keep talking. Yeah, don't worry about me. <laughs> don't worry about me. Uh, um, so you drank for how long? This at this point, two, it was two years. Two years, and yeah, then about two years. Yeah. Did you go back to rehab to get sober? Mm-mm. Kicked on your own this time. Yeah, I just huh? I just dried out. Kicked the booze. Um, well, again, congratulations on the uh, almost 10 years. When will you have 10 years? In August. In August. Give Jack a congratulations or a happy birthday in uh, in August. In August, yeah. Yeah. Um, so back to uh, – Ro- did you have a question for him? No, I didn't. I was distracted by this fucking bike stand. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, These are nice. So <laughs> – Back to I, I mentioned uh, I mentioned art a couple of times. I was asking about if you were drawing yet. Then um, so uh, when did I guess a couple of two part question here? When mm-hmm. after getting sober did you get back into playing music? And also when did you start? Uh, when did you pick up drawing and and get into visual arts? Um, <clears throat> well, I would draw as a I draw. Uh, I used to draw as a little kid, mm-hmm. um, and uh, I remember I had all these comic books. I was in the Spider Man. Like, did you bring? Yeah. Did huh? you bring any fo- uh, pictures of those? Yeah, no, I wish I had. <laughs> That'd be awesome, those, honestly. Yeah, but I would just sit in my room and draw like Spider Man covers and like just try to mat- match it as good as I could. That was kind of my beginning too. Really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Both well, Spider Man or yours would be different. No, I, I, I would do. Uh, just whatever. I don't. I don't know. I think I did like um, the the Hulk. Yeah, I did the yeah, Hulk, Spider, yeah. like all those. Spider. You know, I think I did Spider Man. Yeah, and then moved on to baseball cards. Oh yeah. yeah. Did you ever draw Venom? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. he was cool. Yeah, I don't remember that him. Venom was, was my like favorite. I think. He was my favorite too. I never yeah. saw the movie that came. Didn't the movie come out I recently so. or like I mean, in the past five years? I mean, I wasn't still that into him. Right. But, but <laughs> Tom as Hardy. A, as a kid, I loved Venom. Yeah, yeah, me too. He was awesome. Yeah. Um, isn't it supposed to be like him in some way? How's know. it like the his bad self, his, his, his negative self, or something? It's a different, yeah. different guy. Totally different guy. Different guy yeah. altogether. He got some fucking alien. Oh yeah, he's like, like, he's like part alien. Okay, well, it's yeah. just a, it's just a dude. He was like a reporter. I guess I it think. just seems so clearly like the opposite of Spider Man that I right. thought I saw it as like almost like a yin yang uh, yeah. kind of thing. Like a no, you just see his dark that, side. Kinda. Yeah, dark. And do you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm Spidey. Yeah. Why um, do I have to be the dark one? <laughs> I'll be Venom. Yeah. I don't care. If Venom's you, cool, man. Man. Um, so I'm transparent. If you saw him behind the scenes, you might be singing a different tune. No, man. it's true. Yeah. yeah. This dark, isn't true. Jack does see me shit. behind the scenes. In fact, me and Jack went to, you mentioned the last podcast about me going to Europe. Me and Jack went together. Yeah. So he saw me behind the scenes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Weird in shit. All, in all its glory. Yeah. 
Y'all weren't kicking it by the end. Yeah, we still are. Yeah. No, of the trip. They don't need to know. <laughs> <laughs> they don't y'all need fl- to know anything. Y'all flew back separate. Yeah, that is true, yeah, but not uh, that was, was pre planned. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. That's right. He left me alone in a house with this older man, older Tim. gentleman named Tim. God, and weird. maybe we can get a photo. <laughs> maybe I can find a photo and put it up of Tim. Mm. I hope, Tim, hope so. Tim in the towel. Um, and it was an Airbnb we stayed in in London. And uh, Jack took off early in the morning. Yeah. I woke up alone with this guy. And um, you get it? He was, it was a nice a, guy. He was a very nice was guy. Nice. It was, he was just, just a little weird. It was, he was a little weird, and it was a very weird room. The room we was, were staying in. I have pictures of that room. I can send you. <laughs> we can definitely get yeah. some pictures up here. The room had. The room was bizarre. The room had blank, like how you'll buy like a picture frame. It it's had like collage, empty picture, picture collage frames, picture frames. But empty. On the walls. Like the. It still said like mainstays in it. Or you know whatever. the ones that'll right. say family yeah. or yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. the mainstay. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, yeah. did it have like the black and white, like the uh, black and white, like there were oh, yeah, like the yeah, flowers yeah. or like the dog, right? And, like, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Still the had stock photos. Yeah, like yeah. A very, it had the stock uh, yeah. photos. Aesthetically in it. pleasing couple, like laughing in a park. Right, right. right. Their so, heads back. So I think ass family. Yeah. Or some shit. So I think this guy just wanted to open up, like start renting out Airbnb, and he was like, I need to get some pictures in. Yeah, and then he's like, fuck it. And he was like, like I'm not money. Yeah. Money, money, it's money fine. now. This, this looks great. Pink sheets. Because yeah. what, what are you going to do? There was like a boy band was my comforter, f- comforter in my bed. That's right. What like was it? Like new, a, new, not new order. Um, some weird. Uh, n- what's the boy band? New order. One Direction. <laughs> new order. There one Direction. Band, thanks, order. Laser. Yeah, One Direction. Not new oh, order. yeah. Was it One Direction? I think it was One God, Direction. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, it would have been cooler if it was New Order. Yeah, yeah. That's my kind of boy band. Right. That's my kind of boy band, too. I don't even know what that means. It's okay. Like, what it? Yeah. Why? Why? Why what? Is that your kind of boy band? Because I like that band. They're, they're good. Yeah. You like Joy Division or New Order better? Can't, I don't know. Do you pick? Do you, I mean, I probably, like li- probably listen to New Order more. I guess though. that's more what I mean. I listen. What to listen Joy Division? I listen to New Order younger. much more. What does Same. Joy Division right. sing? Uh, Love will tear us apart. Love will tear us Love apart. Love will tear us apart. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. And he's the guy I mentioned or referenced earlier. It was the first song they played in that movie we watched and reviewed. Uh, okay, got you. Yeah. Got you. And he that killed song. himself. And then I when he killed himself, a new lead singer came in and became New Order. Tonight. With your guy. Oh, Lord. Your man. And then it's like, yeah, with, man. Our, with our Tom, boy band, man. Do, 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 Tom, Tom Waits. Petty and the Heartbreakers. Do, 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 Tom yeah. Waits and the Heartbreakers. What's this? <laughs> Jack just had a tune going for us, a little it's good. background music. I'll just yeah, hear it whenever. I'll hear it when I'm editing. Sense. I'll it's hear it when I'm editing. Yeah, um, you gonna finish that before you leave? That tea? <laughs> <laughs> you can take it with you. It's all right. You can take the glass. Fifty nine fluid ounces. I don't know. Dude. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know the okay. So uh, you can have like nine. So little, that's what the NFL stands for. So little future Jacko was drawing uh, little Spider Man, little Spideys, and then he quit doing that until after sobriety. Yeah, Um, and you're currently in school for Uh, communication design, but it's basically graphic design. Okay, Mm -hmm. it's a little kind of broad, but right, and he's. Good. When did you take a, a interest in that? Like, what made you? What made you know that that's what you were going back to school for? Oh man, it's uh, like it feels like such a long time ago that I started going back to school. I mean, I started school when I graduated high school, and I've been in and out since then. But for I'm different things, now. I assume. Or was yeah, it different always things. Kinda, yeah. yeah, I mean, I started out RTF like film major when I, my first graduated high school. Yeah, and then. Um, Drugs, you know. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And so then, all the art you were always your own interested movie in at that point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But you were funny. always interested in the arts. Uh, I mean, I'm a creative person. Yeah, f- yeah, for sure. There was a minute there when I went back to school where I was like, I thought I was going to study computer science. Okay, just because yeah. it was like the the thing to do. Like, it made uh, yeah, sense. it was the thing to do, like, and like, uh, I was like tired of being poor and I'm stable like, career. Yeah, I was like. I kind of stopped playing music. This was in sobriety. This is a few years ago. Right. And um, I was in a band, kind of got burnt out, and I was like, fuck art and music. It's fucking dumb. Like, I'm tired. Got nihilist. Of, tired of, yeah. Well, yeah. I, was well just I guess tired. not. No, not really. Not really. Yeah. I'm more nihilist now, but kind of like positive. <laughs> right. Know, nihilist. Me and John uh, talk about that, too, a lot, yeah. about positive. I'm sure the three of us have talked about positive nihilism or using nihilism as a sometimes positive it, tool. Sometimes it'll tool. turn on you, though. It can. It can definitely. You don't want to, like... <laughs> It's a very dangerous thing to play yeah. with, uh, yeah. nihilism. But uh, 
But, uh, yeah, so... It's good if you're, like, a, a soldier in a war. <laughs> well, yeah, it's almost... Nece- well, I actually, I, that's probably not so much true. You probably It's probably safer to not be nihilistic in war. You need How do you God on your side. You need, God, you need God on your side in a war. Yeah, but like, you uh, just gotta know that that's little what's Bob, up. Little Bob the rest Dylan of reference. It, you gotta yeah. go into it, like... I think you have a better chance of saying, like, God's got me... Or you... It, you have a better chance going in, like, fuck it, like, almost robotic than you do being like, God's got my back, because then you're, like, Well, the thing is, you can also, the way that you're saying, you can also be like, fuck it, every man for himself. <laughs> for, <laughs> you know, for sure, dude. So, but you I need encourage to be, that. They do not encourage that in the uh, military. They encourage your yeah, brother. Yeah, but I don't think that's a strategy. Yeah, they're using not you, <laughs> they're weaponizing you, and you. And sometimes you gotta, just got to be like, you know, I'm my own What's man. What's that movie with John Claude Van Damme where they like, like uh, is it like Vietnam and uh, I don't know it. Like, uh, that dude's a fucking bloated mess nowadays. Is he? Him and, <laughs> is he an him alcoholic and, now? Him and Vince Neil, man. Who's Vince? Neal? Is he an alcoholic? Molly Crew. Oh yeah, yeah, Vince. How about how yeah. Dane Cook looks now? Have y'all seen him? God, uh, he looks funny. like uh, Harvey Weinstein now. I don't, I don't know if I know. I don't think Harvey he's doing Weinstein. the same. He's, he's not just doing a any fat, of that. Like, any of that stuff. Rubbery. But. I, I think he may have had some plastic surgery. His, Rubbery. His face looks like like he he had his skull removed and had a new one put in that was like a larger hat Does size. Does he look like when they try to make actors look fat so they put on like... Oh, yeah. you, know who, you know who he looks like? The guy from Men in Black. Like Mrs. Doubtfire? Men in Black. The alien that inhabits that body in Men in Black. Uh, I don't remember. You don't know what I'm talking about? Yeah, his, his like face is kind of falling off and oh, stuff, yeah, and he's, yeah, 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 like but yeah. but also kind of like stretched taut in different More, areas. It is taut, More like taut on the sides of the eyes. Right, he's a fucking piece of shit. You know, is he's he? like, is he? Dan Cook? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, about yeah. he's just a fucking. He's, he's a, a tool, dude. dude. He's yeah. dating like he's got like. He's a, not funny, right? He's got a 19 year old girlfriend. No, he's like a frat comedian, right? Is he? Yeah, he he was notoriously like the. Like that, basically, like a frat comedian, but he blew up. He was like right. the biggest comedian being in the on world TV for a while. Fashion, and then fashion, he was kind of. I listened to him. He when became I was in me too. And then yeah. he became kind of a laughing stock within the comedy community. Is my understanding from what I've heard. From yeah, and I don't know how that happened, other. but I, I know he went downhill mm-hmm. real quick, and then like. Maybe fell. embarrassed himself at a party, like a celebrity. Party. Maybe I know he he allegedly stole a joke Tried from Louis C.K. Somebody. and yeah. then Louis C.K. And then Louis years K. later, jerked off in front of someone, right? Yeah, and in front of him, maybe, and maybe he's maybe Louis C.K. was busy jerking off in front of somebody, and he like grabbed his grabbed little booklet his, and stole oh, right, a joke. Right, I think that's yeah. how it happened. Yeah, um, but now he's got a nineteen-year-old girlfriend. He's 43, oh, yeah. 44, something kind of like weird. That. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and he's you know of course says like when any of those guys would say like, "Oh, we're in love," and like sure. age is just is that um, currently. Currently, okay. He's. I think he's I watched just him. A number. I watched him on a podcast. Yeah, recently. age is just a number, which is like such a. It's like uh, right. At least let know. the girl say that. <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah. you want to be the one saying it rather than the girl because like the girl's just like this doe eyed like like you should know you should tell her differently <laughs> you should be like no it's different <laughs> but you're not you're saying age is just a number sweetheart. <laughs> Yeah, on, on I don't camera. know, man. It's bad either way. <laughs> yeah, but like yeah, if the girl's telling no you, like, to... don't worry, age is just a number, and you're just kind of like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no one full, no one no full one, well. What the fuck it's is not, up? It's Knowing that not, she's yeah. saying that and thinks that the life that life is like Experi- shiny and experience happy. Experience is and, not just the number. That's yeah. for sure. Yeah. No, it's not. Um, you know? Speaking of experience, Jack is uh, so he's back in school now for. Yeah. Um, Speaking graphic of design, <laughs> yeah, and uh, so you got you're also doing music again, right? Yeah, and Jack's in a band called Jack and the Hacks, Jack, Jack and, the Hacks. and the Hacks, and they are no hacks, no, they're very good, actually, very good musicians surrounding him, yeah. yeah. And Jack's a good musician himself. Do you have any shows coming up? Uh, doing any South by Southwest stuff? We might have a South by thing, I'm not sure yet. I generally don't really try too hard with South by because it's just right. a fucking nightmare. It's a mess. Well, if you do have anything coming up, we'll make sure to link that below as yeah, well. Yeah, um, But the art shit's what. Um, and we'll link his makes Instagram me below. Inside the music's like, all right, I guess, but music's not going to pay your bills, let's be honest. But art? Yeah, art can maybe. It's, it's paid some of them so far. You've gotten so good so fast. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Like, what's up with that? Like, and, and 
because I'm curious about this, and I know that I've talked to a lot of young artists out there, and people want to know, like, what what's what's going on? And I think age has so much to do with getting uh, getting better in a smart way. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, how did you... What are some of the decisions that you make when it comes to art? You know, you you did the portrait of your bandmate. Yeah, Carl. Yeah. Yeah. And it's good. Yeah. It's like, I like that painting. Like, why subject matter did you pick that? Uh, it made sense to me, but yeah, other people don't know. I just, I mean, I've, f- I've found so far that I really just i am drawn to drawing people. Mm-hmm. And, um, like, Portraiture. Yeah, or figure, just figure, you know, drawing or painting. Um, something about it is... And recently, though, I've been wanting to start painting or drawing more, like, mundane objects, but, um... Like, but yeah. still lifes? Yeah, yeah. But just, like, weird, like, no, but like why nobody would ever paint this kind of things, you know? Right. Okay. Um, I like, like the a coffee stuff. pot. It's cool. Yeah, yeah, or, like, a banana peel or something. I don't know. Right. You or know? this turned over on its side. Yeah, the fucking hammer. Um, I guess people paint hammers, but... You know, people will paint everything. Yeah, people paint everything. I mean, but to me, like, they're sort of like... These something that's less cool. common, much yeah, less yeah, common. Yeah, of yeah. Car- like Carl's things. an interesting guy, and I think yeah. that's why I like it. I mean... And he's also... We'll put a picture of that uh, piece up on, on the, the screen, and he's also your bass player, correct? Yeah. And Jack yeah, and the Hacks. Hack. Yeah. yeah, he's one of the hacks. He's a hack, yeah. True, one of the hacks. Um, so it's a, high, it's a high contrast painting, very mm-hmm. dynamic. Have, did you sell that? No, uh, I haven't. It's actually um, hanging at, it's at the school right now. Right yeah, now that's right. Gallery. Yeah, the juried exhibition. Mm-hmm. All, all the students of your yeah, class, it's, it's I'm students, guessing. and it was like a yeah, they were like picked, handpicked. Is that yeah, pieces. elected to mm-hmm. jury? Yeah. Okay, yeah, cool. Yeah, Man, so that's dope. And that's a new. This is a relatively new endeavor for you, right? Painting and art and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah, I mean, painting is very new. I, I really haven't right. been doing it very long. So with you, like, learning that, um, at, have you noticed, because uh, obviously there's growth in this, like, new, learning this new art form. Mm-hmm. Have you noticed uh, growth, like, outside of specifically getting better at that, like, growth in your life through learning these new uh Oh, for this sure. This new endeavor. I mean, I, I feel like once I made a decision to go back to school for what I'm doing now, it was like sort of this recommitment to to making art or like being a creative person, you know? Because I was kind of resisting that for a long time. and um, Out of uh, fear or just like Yeah, out of fear laziness and just like... No, it was more not laziness, but... Like procrastination maybe or... Right. Yeah. I mean, I think it's Used mostly to the, f- what you're doing fear already. of, yeah. of like... Um, yeah, like what, like what does it mean to be a creative person, and like how do you make sense of your life and like this sort of, in my mind, kind of fucked up society? Yeah, and, you know, you just do whatever. That's the purpose know? of right. art. You just yeah. do do whatever, sing your song. Yeah, um, and I, you know, do you? And I like to. I'm curious about this, but it's like, do you do you feel like you're talented? Do you feel like you're capable? Sometimes as an do. artist, and yeah. sometimes you Some have days. imposter. Syndrome some days or like today when I'm like working on this like piece for school and you're like, like I fucking is, suck. We yeah, all have like, those why days. am I doing yeah, this? Like this is terrible. Yeah, yeah. I overstep my boundaries. Like, yeah, like I'm good with yeah. the Carl. Right, the Carl was good. Carl. And, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna stay with but that this shit, one. Like I think that graphic design too, and I think you're. Uh, I think you have a lot of promise as a painter, yeah. um, but graphic design is like something I'm so not proficient at. Yeah. And the the idea of becoming proficient at it seems very daunting. You know, mm-hmm. I'm on Procreate on my iPad, and I use it for little logo design and stuff. And the little bit that I do know on that was like pulling fucking teeth, getting me, yeah. getting me to learn that. I, you know, I was in communication design when I the uh, brief really? amount of time that I, I went to know. college, and I was like, "Fuck this shit." Yeah, make sure you're. Just oh yeah, yeah. It's just goddamn know. fucking <laughs> microphone. Yeah, gotta have it. <laughs> I'm gonna Coming at watch you. Sorry. when this uh, uh, when this is over. You think I'm lying? I'm gonna break this thing over my knee. <laughs> I do it. Yeah. Why wait know. till it's over? Do it or yeah, when it's well, because I gotta still be on it anyway. Um. Anyways, I can edit it. Yeah, de- I mean, cool, does like design is on. definitely a more of. A, I mean, it's you know, it's a, it's an art form, I guess, but it's also it's like problem solving. You know, it's it's not necessarily making shit look good. It's like, why are you doing things the way you're doing them right now? You know, mm-hmm. 
It's like a whole way of thinking. It's like you like you have to communicate something, you know what I mean? If you're making right. a logo or if you're um, designing a book cover, you know, it has to communicate something to somebody. Um, it can't just look cool, you know? Yeah. It has and to look cool and it has to, like, communicate. And I've said that right. as a guy that knows fuck all about logos. Yeah. And graphic design, like I was able to tell very quickly, like, wow, he's got his own style, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. which I think is interesting. Like a lot of times you see somebody's graphic design portfolio and you can't really, there's no commonality. There's no yeah. original thread going through. Right, it. right. And you designed our logo. Yeah. And I was like, that's mm-hmm. very Jack style. So know? I'm going to have you design my logo for yeah. my business. Would you so. say that's specific to, um, like, with... Would you agree with that, that, like, y- your art could just look cool and that's enough? Piece by piece or what? What do you yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think it's enough. I mean, it's like art's going to speak to whoever it speaks to. So I think the, the the biggest mistake you can make is trying to make a piece of art that speaks to everybody. And it's easy to do. Mm-hmm. It's a, It's... Easy to get into that mindset, and then you're fucked. Of like, this is gonna, everyone's gonna love. I gotta get this. this. I gotta. This is what the meaning is, and everyone needs to know that this is what the meaning is. Or just, I hope everybody likes this. Yeah, just thinking that that's realistic. Well, even considering how much people are gonna like it is gonna impede your art. I imagine in any form, right? Yeah. Yeah. At the end, it's like if if I know if I'm happy with it, it's it's gonna speak to somebody, and um, I'm sure you feel the same way, you know. Or maybe it doesn't, you know, but. Or just like, you know, I want be to make real, something I think looks, that speaks you know, to me. Fuck yeah. everybody else. You might end up real fucking Yoko Ono type person, just be weird. And everybody's like, what the fuck is this chick talking about? <laughs> you know what I mean? John but, Lennon was picking up what she was putting down, I guess, right? I guess so. I guess. I, I feel or like. Or did he, she get weirder after, you think? I guess maybe. She's just a fucking yeah, weird maybe. lady. I guess so. John yeah, Lennon's she's out there. Weird. She's like that. But yeah, she was pretty weird. Do you ever see that York. where he was on? Where he was on? Where uh, it was Lennon, Chuck Berry, Yoko on stage. No, but I did see the fucking um, Keith Richards and Chuck Berry thing. Did you ever see that? I probably. Chuck I'm not Berry's sure. Chuck like freaking out. He's like, y'all are playing the fucking song wrong. <laughs> and Keith Richards <laughs> is like, nah, dude, you're playing it wrong. That's but funny. He, yeah, but he kept I haven't yelling, seen that. And then finally he's like. Oh yeah, this is how it goes, and they're like, "Yeah, dude, you're like this." That's is, funny. Yeah. So he was playing with the Stones. No, he's playing with or like just Keith, Keith and, and like some other. Yeah, they're like at a bar mitzvah. <laughs> well, anyway, there's a there's a video, and actually, Bill Burr did like a funny play in the video and just talking about it over it, um, or maybe he was talking about it on his podcast and somebody edited it together. But it was just, uh, it was. I think they were playing. I don't remember what they were playing. Roll over Beethoven or something. Mm. Uh, and, and Yoko was on stage like with a tambourine or something, and she just started like shrieking during. Yeah, the yeah. Night. It's, <laughs> yeah. It's like yeah. Bjork. Like Bjork's fucking real weird right. like that. Now there, Bjork's got some good stuff. But I, I, do I, some I can't get down like with that. all it's of it. It's just yeah. so cool. I don't know. I think it's cool. I think so. <laughs> I think it's cool. <laughs> I think it's yeah. lame. Um, you know, I'm not saying you can all get away of it. With anything when you're that fucking weird. I'm not saying yeah. all of it's cool. Go, but no, there's definitely your fucking wiener out and be like, you don't get it. And it's like, I guess not. I guess but I'm a fucking nerd, man. There's yeah. a moment where she First starts. First of all, you're in a school zone. There's a sir. moment where yeah. she. <laughs> <laughs> right. You're in a fucking crosswalk right. right now. There's a moment where she starts doing it. And uh, <laughs> and Chuck looks over like that. It's hilarious. Where well, like, yeah, those two. <laughs> Chuck Berry is like, <laughs> yeah. like what? They're so the polar fuck? opposites yeah. of like just the, yeah. I mean, I guess what Chuck was doing was weird at yeah. the time. You know, it hadn't really been done. So it was probably considered weird by a lot. Um. So you were saying that by going back to school, um, by dedicating to something again, uh-huh. um, it was alleviating or alleviating or not so much alleviating fears, but you were just like, eventually, I gotta just forget about the fears or look at what the fears are. Well, yeah, I was actually in school for face computer them. science, and uh, <laughs> yeah, right. and I was right. getting A's and shit, and I was like, whoa, I can do math, and I'm pretty good at it, but I was looking around me, like all these kids in my class, and I was just like, what? You're too cool Who for them. Who the fuck are they? Yeah, let's do cool. You're, like, yeah, I you're from the future. They were yeah, all, I'm from the future. They were all here in 2018 or 2019. Glass, like, face. <laughs> right, yeah. yeah. You're yeah. like, fuck all y'all motherfuckers. Like, I've done heroin. But you just didn't. <laughs> I've done you, heroin. You yeah. Felt, yeah. So you felt like you didn't quite connect to like 
what they were there for. Like, well, you yeah, it was maybe just in their, moment in that, their you know, place like, and you so much. It didn't really didn't mean so much, but it was like that moment. That was the moment like, where it kind of clicked. Oh, like, yeah, what am like, I doing? Why am I doing this? Like, I don't care about this shit at all. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like right. at all. Yeah. yeah. I think it's interesting. Right. But Boy, there's I'd, no way you were going to be able to keep passion about it. Or no. anything. Yeah. Yeah. You like what you do now though. What oh, you're yeah. in school for. Totally. Now. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, I'm doing the right. I feel like I'm doing the right thing. Yeah. You know, even like though I'm too. afraid of getting some shitty corporate job and like making like yeah, you know, readjusting cares? Walmart's like logos, you know, <laughs> right? But yeah. you can always move on, if right, that's, right? If that's the maybe case, maybe I'll do that for a couple of years, pay my school and you loans could off. Pro- <laughs> go then yeah, go be a go. veterinarian, you know? Yeah, right. Yeah, which is like yeah. where we're getting with all this thing, right? Yeah. We're doing what? <laughs> so now, yeah, <laughs> going to grad school for a veterinary center, right? Yeah. We'll drop a link below where to apply for veterinary yeah. veterinarian <laughs> school. So there That's you are, cool. man. Yeah. There you are. Fucking yeah. doing the deal. Got your big boy pants on. You're yeah. doing the fucking logos. You got your your musical. Uh, <laughs> your, your, your musical's your, coming up. Your play. <laughs> that you yeah, yeah, you yeah, play, right? Like you're a fucking yeah. excellent golfer. Right. I played golf. In high, I was in the golf team in high school. Were you really? Yeah. That's real? Just Yeah, we just smoke weed. and. Why, like, were you well, two or something? No, I just didn't expect that. <laughs> That was like, kind of like, did we play each other? <laughs> yeah. I think we played Joe Somerset. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Damn, you had a golf team too? Yeah. Yeah. Did yeah. you, um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know that why, like how my school thing. had a golf team. And there was like four of us and we, all we did was drive the golf cart around and smoke and weed. Smoke yeah, weed. you can get away with The only like times that, I've ever weird. golfed, it was just riding around in a golf cart and smoking drinking and smoking it was like weed. The, as the like a, coach was like a chemistry teacher or something. Yeah, they're, like, like they're like so double funny. book. They're like, yeah. here, yeah. look, just don't wreck yeah. this thing. Yeah, you just got to drop them right. off and then you go back and pick them up. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And they're like, did y'all learn something today? Like, well, we didn't have a teacher, so... Yeah, you know. Yeah, sure. Yeah. You know, we're just we're helping each other out like Lord of the Flies <laughs> on the fucking green, right? Oh, fuck. Well, good man, cool. Part um, five. let me ask this since we're on the egomaniac podcast. Um, Is that where we're at? Yeah, that's where we're at. Um, with uh, I'm curious as to where like where you find if or if you find ego creeping into um art whether it be music or the visual art you're doing do i find ego creeping in yeah like do you find when you like for example when someone tells you how great the carl piece was i think i find are you able to find a humility creep in every once in a while it's pretty much all ego (laughs) all ego (laughs) every once in a while you get like a little glimpses of serenity and humility it's funny because in art it's either either or yeah, it's, it's like either, either like, I'm the worst motherfucker. I don't deserve to be. I'm a fraud. Oh yeah, right. I'm an imposter. imposter. Yeah. yeah. Uh, which I know that we've talked about this. Like mm. it, you said, like how oh, you know sometimes I think we texted about that. I just some feel like an imposter sometimes. I'm yeah. like, Shit. I mean, even talking about it right now a little bit, I'm kind of like, it's like, oh, yeah. I'm not yeah. I'm talking and about like, art. And right. Like get, get until, until we're like, like, oh, it was so badass, Jack. Yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> I know it was. And it just <laughs> never goes good. anywhere. I did it's, this. Yeah. And the thing is, it never fucking goes anywhere. Right. Like the imposter syndrome. And if you run into somebody. That says that that didn't creep in. They're either a fucking liar, right, or it's not somebody. It's like get away, fast. Yeah, get away. I don't think it's necessarily limited to art either. I think that's all. A lot of people's experience sure. in life in general. Is, sure, but um, that's what we're talking about. So right. Well, I mean, I think some people are more like uh, better <laughs> adjusted to that stuff for sure. I mean, they don't really think about themselves so much in the process. Right. Not I'm so with like about, so much. Yeah, I just yeah. think about myself too much, but. Yeah, it's yeah. it's a fucking weird deal, man. With the with right. ego and the creative arts, it's yeah. fucking yeah. it's stupid. Do you find a way to um, does it? Do you just let it kind of wax and wane, both of you, uh, or do you find a way to like, I guess, um, get out of yourself at times, or does it just kind of? Yeah, yeah, I try. Like, I mean, that's yeah. the goal every day. Commissions, man. Yeah, that's how I do it. That way you're just – you're only focused on the client when you're yeah, doing That's all I got to do right. is like yeah. the best job for my client. So if you were to do a piece that isn't for a commission, what that I guess you would be a little more invested. This is you in the in the piece more so? I don't know about for him, but it's like I have this idea in my mind or at least a direction that I want it to go. And it's like at that point, how fucking well can I execute the motherfucker? Yeah. You right. know? 
Yeah. Like how, how well can I communicate my idea? And if I do that, then I'm like, I fucking killed that. But I think to you, the point that you're always making, ego can be a positive thing too. So right. you know, we need self-affirmation. Yeah, yeah. You know, no therapist is going to tell you you're a cocksucker for doing that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Laser is telling us we're almost yeah. at the top of the hour. Time's Jack, up, man. Time's up, Jack. Well, the future is here. The future is now. Um, Jack Garrett Parker, thank you so much for coming on. It's fun, buddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah I appreciate it. Let's do it again. Thanks next for being the two. first guest. And yeah, hopefully we'll do it again sometime, and we'll make sure to get it right next time. I know you uh, <laughs> wanted the buns toasted. Yeah, everything buns else was toasted. perfect. Again, um, I'd like to apologize for that. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. yeah, and also we the, will the, fire um, laser the and the next sugar uh, version of. Uh, the Arizona full Arnold, sugar. Arnold Palmer. And you said, I could have buns. sworn you said toasted light bun. in the email, no. or your agent did. Somebody did because Somebody. it in, might have been my agent. It's in print. Yeah. Uh, next Future week, agent, Trey Hudson. Yeah, Trey. Hudson. Trey Hudson. Next week, episode three, we have Nick and Sam Ernstein, aka the Bagel Bros. Bagel Bros. That's right. They're gonna Ernstein come on. Ernstein Bagels. Ernstein Bagels. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Up there on North Lamar, right? That's right. Yeah. Ernstein. Uh, oh, bagel bro. I feel like anything I could say might be like a little uh, uh, off off um, color. Yeah. Um, yeah, they're going to come on and talk about being brothers. Anti, and they're, yeah, they're going to talk about being brothers that are got struggles. Uh, Struggle brothers. And they're being also Jewish. musicians. Being fucking we'll talk about music. Doing that and like maybe what it's like to take showers together. That's interesting. We took a shower together in London. Did we? Did oh, we you? did. <laughs> I wasn't Fuck sure. Him. What's funny is I. <laughs> Weird. We'll just. Is that real? I think I don't know. <laughs> God, fucking wiener tuggers. <laughs> there was only one shower. You scrub my wiener, I'll scrub yours. Oh. No, we didn't do all that. There was just one shower. It was efficient. So y'all were both in it at the same time? You and old Slippery Well, we didn't really think about time. We just thought about the amount of showers. I mean, we were very present. Hey, man. Good for you. It's 2019, man. Grandma's on icebergs and fucking uh, y'all getting in, slipping around in a European (laughs) shower. (laughs) At Tim's house. (laughs) Yeah, Tim's, that fucking Uh, Tim's house with with a fucking Uh, meow wolf, nothing in the picture frame. Joint, you know what I mean? Yeah, Wolf. <laughs> well, because it's like spaced out and weird. Oh. oh, you know what I mean? Yeah, I guess. All right. Well, fuck both of y'all. All Thank right. you for watching Ego Maniac episode two. Join us next week, episode three, uh, Bagel Brothers. Out.